Welcome, welcome, sports fans. We're here at the 2022 USBA National Championship in Morton Grove, Illinois at 5,000 Years Billiards. My name is Ira Lee, and I'm here with the host, our host of the event, Henry Ugartachea. Am I saying it right? That's right, Ira. Oh. Thank you for the introduction. And uh, he and his wife, Kimberly, ha oh, uh, yeah, have been doing such an Very amazing good. job hosting this event, perfect conditions all the way around. It's been an honor and a privilege to be here doing the stream. Uh, the stream is brought to us by caromsports.com and sponsored by Predator CRM, Carom Cues, Revo Shafts, New, new Billiards Technology, uh, Theory Billiard Cues, always a supporter of, the, of American Billiards. Um, a local cue maker, Noel Mendoza, makes the, the Schuler uh, by Mendoza Q. Uh, he's been a great supporter. Now also we have, uh, the players are getting ready to do their lag while I finished uh, thanking our sponsors. Um, million Dollar Billiard Products. Um, yes. Simonis, Aramith. Mr. Hector Ocampo with Hector Million Dollar Ocampo is a big supporter the of the USBA, right? And of course, um, um, Mickey needs money. Mickey is needs us. money. Moving, moving he, tables. He's Mickey Campbell out is one of the most responsible billiard table movers. I've used his services. He cares about the tables. So if you need to move a table anywhere in the country, yes, he's the man. Call he's him. Look for man. him. And also want to make, make sure mention. Uh, Michael Kang, owner of uh, Karam Cafe, who's also uh, a, won a wonderful uh, benefactor to, to the USBA and the Nationals. He's helping us out as well. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Michael Kang. Okay, so we're watching this. Pedro won the lag, and he's going to shoot the opening break. Pedro's so methodical about his shots. Yeah, I love watching he's him play. He's perfect, just perfect. And, you should really miss <gasps> and wow, he... He misjudged the, the. This is a rare, a rare situation. A for rare him. situation. And um, you know what? We were just talking about this during the last semifinal. The first inning is a little Super tricky because the, the the balls may have a little bit of agent on them from oh. the cleaning. I Actually, mean, we we are using alcohol and water only right now. Right, right but. Now. When they're clean, yes, they slide. Yes, and, absolutely. And, and they do. it's a beautiful thing that the balls are being cleaned every every match, and that yes, that's what are. we need for professional conditions. Yes, yes, we are, and we're trying our best to try to. We're playing with new Aramis balls, which are wonderful Pro Cup, Super Pro Cup balls, and at the same token, you uh, see, we're making we're careful to uh, to not be adding any chemicals right now to them to let uh, right. let the tables you know, which have a natural slide but the clean balls and and look what happened Kang also the ball slipped a little bit yeah. the, the players are good enough they're going to start to adjust to the situation um, yes. sometimes it takes a couple of innings to get a read on the table but mm -hmm. um, that's information that they take from inning to inning and both players mm -hmm. adjust and both players just recently played on different tables too. Let's let's uh, make that commentary so everybody knows. That's right. Uh, Pedro just finished playing on table five, which is uh, a nice table. It's a Nord Verhoeven table, but uh, they have slight characteristic differences. You know what? Every table, even from mm -hmm. even from hour to hour, mm -hmm. will play differently. There's no such thing as a standard table. Yeah. So uh, adjustment is, is a big part of the game. The player to adjust to the current conditions is always going to be the player that wins. So let's take a look here. Pedro gives himself a um, a three rail shot. He can't see the red ball so obviously he has to play off the right side of the yellow. He'll drive the yellow ball but it, it may bank into to kiss so he's got to solve, he's got to cross those He's Make sure he avoids right off that yellow, the right side of the yellow, to try to come down to the corner. Yeah, I think so. so. Open, open up the angle. There he goes. There he goes. Yep. Here's he's where he needs to pass the kiss. Spin. Wow, he passed that kiss. What a beautiful, beautifully. Shot. 
and the kiss that he was avoiding. That was masterful. Yeah. You see, there's no accident that this yellow didn't cross paths. Didn't, you know. He knew exactly where he was placing that ball when he first hit it. Yeah. So you see these two balls? Yeah. They can collide if you don't calculate this exact path to, to clear. Uses a little extra English to magnify the red ball. And he connects. Yes. That's, I think, the, the, the extra spin he's putting on that ball. Makes that ball big. Yes, it does. Really does. Here's another clear example. Does he avoid the hole? Yeah, absolutely. Yes he does. And if perfect time, perfect speed. Look at the speed. He's he's dominating the position. He's setting himself up for the next shots. He can go off of either side of either ball. He has so many options. Yes, He'll he pick does. the best option. In this case, he looks like he's playing a short angle off the right side of the yellow. Yeah. And that's what that's what looks like to me most logical. Currently on a run of three. Compared to somebody who's so explosive, he can just he can run out in one inning. He's unbelievable. He already adjusted from the the table slide that he saw from the break shot, and he's. He learned his lesson. He learned his lesson. Shot. Yeah, he's a quick, <laughs> quick study. He's a quick learner. Yeah, take a look at it. He he put he cranks this with a ton of English. Finds. I noticed this about Pedro that he uses a lot of spin, and so therefore makes the ball that much larger. Especially right. when the ball's near the rail. If the ball's near the yes. rail, yes. spin will help you f make it a bigger target. Mm -hmm. When it's Absolutely. in the middle of the table, that's not always the case. But sometimes when you need to stroke the ball. It makes perfect sense, and uh, but I can see how I can see how focused Pedro is on his game. He's one of the most focused people that I have ever seen at the table. But he f he misses that shot, gives Kang a chance. Kang is one of the young talents in American three cushion billiards. He's a professional pool player. Mm. He's a Predator Pro. He plays on the 10-ball tour. Interesting. Yeah, he's a very young, very young individual that has a lot of talent, and he's only going to get better. He hits the ball so good. Yeah. I mean, he's he's played he's beaten played and beaten some of the top pool players in the world wow. in in competition. That's great. That's wonderful. And uh, and few of them even know that he plays three cushions so well. Interesting. I haven't known him for long, but I can tell he's very disciplined and definitely Does a Does he get a little lucky here? Oh, he's lucky. He gets a little bit of a roll here. Yeah. And he apologizes to... To Pedro. To Pedro. Let's see what kind of shot he has here. He might be able to play... A short angle off the right side of the white. That might be what he's looking at. Hmm. I also see a short angle off the right side of the red. I'm thinking that would possibly be the better shot. You just have to, be, you have to feather it out. Yeah, you have to hit it really thin. And feather it, yeah. And uh, I think he, 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 he might do that, but off the right side of the white looks comfortable. Oh, here he goes. You're right. Good call, Ira. Let's take a look. He's going to draw to the right and do a short angle, just like you said. Let's see, does he have the right amount of English in the last rail? Yep. Beautiful yes. control. Very nice. I'm really impressed with this young man. He's, he's oh, definitely yeah. he's a straight has shooter. all the characteristics of a professional. And the demeanor at the table. Yes. He's methodical. And his, his execution is impeccable. I there he goes. That. He... Uh, he doses the, the cue ball with just the right amount of English. And the right amount of speed. And the speed. And That's uh, very important in this game. And uh, a lot of these top players understand the value of knowing how to control the balls with the speed. Now here's a short angle that he's got that's a little harder. It's a smaller ball. Let's see if he can oh, find yeah. it. He's going to miss that one. It was close. It's a little bit long. 
and in these early innings the players have to take care to judge the to judge the, the English, the English. And, and the angle as well also realize he's going to play safe if he does not score. Right. I mean, he's, I'm sure he wanted to, to score, but sure. he also wanted to leave distance and a difficult shot for Kang. Hopefully Kang will lose control and return the... He knows how... He, he realizes how dangerous that Kang can be. Kang just upset Hugo Patino in yes. the eighth final. Yes, I had 40 and, to 19 uh, in yeah, 30 not, innings. That was an incredible match. Hugo did not play his game, but no. But Kang, you know, averaged 1.3. And in part, I think the reason why Hugo didn't play his game is because Kang basically just he controlled he, had, he controlled the game. He, he had controlled the game. game. Oh, look at this shot! He's gonna yes, yes, he's gonna go f six rails high speed, looking for something. Wait a minute. Oh, just missed it. Wow, that was a very wow. valiant yeah. effort on his part. Very a good well. try by Kang. Leaves Pedro with a bank shot. I don't see anything off the ball he can play. Mm -mm. It doesn't look like there's very much there other than a bank shot. Of course, he could do a double the rail, but that's a bank. That's basically going to be off the same rail, but. He can't hit either ball, I don't think, without uh, either kissing one or the other. So, banks are open on Sundays. For Pedro, usually. <laughs> <laughs> I think he'll try to play this from the top. It looks like he's playing it short. He's putting a high ball on, which is going to lengthen that angle, even though it looks short. He's going to wind up lengthening the ball. He did play from the top here. Yeah, and there it is, lengthening it. Beautiful did shot. He yes, he okay, did. Okay, good. A lot of players play that one from behind to try to push the balls ahead. Mm -hmm. But I think he felt there was a bigger chance to score if he hit it on the short side. He yeah, probably he wanted to hit the rail first. Yes, but he did. I think he wanted to hit the rail right before the yellow and then hit the did into score. the red afterward. That's great. Nice definitely up did close score. shot. Now look, he's going to double this rail. He's looking to double this rail. I don't know if that is he really trying to double that rail. I'm thinking he's going to go. He's going to go short, 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 short. Cross table. No. He just changed his mind. He's taking a real close look at this shot. Oh, he's gonna play. He's gonna go different. He's gonna go plus short, two. Short, long, long. He's gonna go plus two on this. With high ball, high right. Very nice. Very nice. Beauty. Beautiful, Beautiful shot. So Perfect shot. what Henry was referring to for the fans out there, there are a number of systems that many players use when they hit the end rail first and then two long rails, they'll call that a plus two shot. I like to call it short, long, long, just because not all our fans are players. Mm, understood, understood. Pedro's doesn't have the easiest shot here. He's got to worry about banking where he's going to bank the yellow ball. Mm-hmm. It's very easy to bank that yellow ball into the red. He's got to avoid that and then hit a very small red ball after about mm -hmm. 25 feet. So let's I see. I would have thought somebody with Pedro's uh, abilities, he might have driven through the red ball and just 
double the rail coming backward. Easy to... Maybe because of the position where he's at, too. He may not have a really good set uh, ability to set down on the shot. Oh, look at this interesting option. Yeah, he looks, he's going to go two like rails first. Going two go rails. Yellow and then back down to the short rail. But he's going to hit the right amount to hit the third rail right by the red. Oh, just he misses just it. Missed it. What a nice effort. What a nice effort. Very good try. Very creative, too. Let's take a look at what happens here. He's trying to hit two rails and clip the yellow and catch a third rail right before the red. He adjusts his bridge, if you notice, just in the last that moment. Snap. It needs that snap. That's why he hits it with the speed. So that it comes back and it spins in to the uh, short rail. Just rate. misses it. Good effort by Pedro. Just a little bit less ball. Oh, what a nice cross table by Kang. Yeah, Kang just nailed the cross table long, long, long. Beautiful. I've seen him shoot that more than once, and he shoots that with so much control. Very everything, impressed. everything he does. He's an yeah. accurate ball striker, straight yeah. shooter. Very impressed with his. Uh, a very well-rounded game, and and as he as he gets better and better. He's gonna he's gonna be a very dangerous player. Right now, he's taking a look at a very difficult pattern. He's seeing if he can do anything off the red, but it's also dangerous. The red can come back and knock the yellow, mm -hmm. knock the white. Yeah, especially if he doesn't hit a full ball there. Which if he can hit a f if he hit a full ball, full ball, he would possibly foul too. So you have to be careful about that. Yeah, well these these guys generally won't make a blatant foul um, yeah. and th if they do that they'll call it on himself right right he's gonna try to double the rail here looks like Ooh, but he got there the was kiss, that that kiss that you talked to you called it you called it Ira. well I I call a lot of I make a lot of shots from the booth mm -hmm. you know I'm an expert <laughs> Ira, you're the you're the expert booth player <laughs> and my average is extremely high I was telling Mason <laughs> Nice. That's awesome. Pedro has a, a kind of cross table here. Mm -hmm. If he goes red, long, long, short, no matter where the red lands, he should have an easy shot. So let's see what happens. This is not an easy shot because no. he has to thin that, feather that red ball and still be have enough ball to... <laughs> And that's why he missed it. Long, long. He hit it thin so he wouldn't drive the red into the yellow, and that caused him to yes. go too deep. Yes, I saw and that. Because of that, he missed the shot. Yeah, because of Just that, barely. he missed the shot. So he drove. Th the The problem here is not to cut the red into the yellow. He successfully does that, but then he goes too deep, and he misses it, just by a hair. Mm. Good effort by Pedro. Pedro is, as we already know, a world class player. Oh yeah, he's one of the most dominant players in the American players since Sang Lee. Yes, yes, he has. I think really he's won ten national championships now, right? Yes, I think. Yeah, I, think I think he's up right. to ten. I think yeah. you're right. Sang Lee, of course, had twelve consecutive. Kang plays a beautiful. Beauty. Slides the cue ball up the rail. Perfect very, control. Very nice. Look at what he leaves himself. That wasn't by luck or chance. That was the speed in which he hits the ball to be able to set up that type of position on the next shot. Well, it looks like he's come to play and do something. Mm -hmm. Beating Hugo gave him a lot of confidence. And he actually beat Pedro the last time they played. Really? In New York. Interesting. Yes. I did not know that. That's it was great. a preliminary game. I'm sure Pedro has a long memory for that. <laughs> He's thinking about revenge. Yes. It wasn't a, a, a final match, but it was a preliminary round. Interesting. Was it, a, was one was of few it wasn't a knockout? No, it was okay. a round robin, and it was okay. one of the few okay. up, uh, losses that Pedro ever took. Well, I know that recently having officiated at the World Cup in Las Vegas, which thanks to you and the Predator for having invited me to that event and uh, participating, uh, I saw Pedro personally refereeing his match where he he beat Marco Zanetti, which is a world champion uh, from Italy and uh, expert player. 
Wow, I want to talk this about the shot that Kang just made. Kang is beautiful. He passed this kiss so <gasps> like a surgeon here. He this is no accident. He slices the and times the mm -hmm. the path that the balls are crossing here very skillfully and he finds a perfect line to score and the, wi the white ball is also coming back to the same side of the table which gives him a good chance to find more shots that was a beautiful shot that Kang and just once again played. back to back to the same basics about the speed control that both of these players have which is what makes them so dangerous they can control the balls very well for the if you see step. every move not only is he playing defense he's also playing offense yes. and position so there's a lot going on here there he set himself up now the balls are in the middle of the look table at look at that and That's kang has more options off of either side of either ball that was a great great setup for the next shot also yeah Now he has choices. He can play the short angle off the left side of the red. He can thin the left side of the white. There's uh, more options. He can play the right side of the white as well and go short angle too. That's right. And that's the one. Short that's angle. a shot that I see best. But of course, well, he'll, he may, if he, he can may do something different. If he can bring the balls to the middle of the table, he will. Otherwise, the speed in which he hits that ball, he's going to try to bring that white ball back to the middle of the table. Look at exactly. The speed. Oh, he's going to miss it just a little. Oh, no, he's going to hit it. He's going to get it. Perfect. And great control. The spin is what gave it to him. Nice shot. Very nice shot. Yeah. Kang is playing with a lot of confidence. He's controlling his innings. He's actually taking the lead right now. Take a look at this. He hits almost full on the ball. He actually hits about half ball and gives himself another shot. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's what we were just talking about is what nice ball control that this uh, young up-and-coming player it's has. It's tricky. You don't want to be too too slow to the ball because then you can't see. Mm -hmm. You'll crowd yourself right. and you'll block yourself. Sure. He, but he, if he can see both sides of both balls, he'll have more options. And in this case, he's going to be a pool player for a moment and cut yeah. that red into that little pocket between the white and the rail. And then... He's going. He's going five rail on this. That's one. right. Beauty. So that was also in control, and he pushes the red, the, the red in the corner for a perfect five rail yeah, or awesome. six rail shot. He just he just converted that red ball into a sizable watermelon. Yeah. <laughs> well, here's a five cushion shot that Kang doesn't want to hit too thin because then the white will cross twice yes. into the red. He'll hit a little fuller, uh -huh. and then he can actually play a position. I think that's, you know, he might be trying to hit very, very thin and avoid the kiss with the red. Yeah, he hit it full enough so that the white uh -oh, goes around white, and backs up. Still, Does he pass the kiss? Oh, he gets away with it. Wow, nice. manages that perfectly. Very nice. very and nice. That's great. And that's a run of seven. So yes. we know that um, Kang is playing very, very confidently and with a lot of com uh, composure. Composure, composure yeah. absolutely. And he's earning his nickname, I'm hearing. Kang Kong. Kang Kong. <laughs> <laughs> I say, I call him the giant killer. Since Tell he beat Hugo Patino, if he beats Pedro, he's definitely going to be the giant oh, killer. Oh, that's going to instill some fear in any other player. Look at that. He plays this one beautifully. Oh, yeah. The back up. back up, yeah. Just misses, misses the backs up. But mm -hmm. Look at this. He hedges himself. He doesn't leave. He's left Pedro frozen yeah. on the rail, yeah. facing the balls. No easy shot. I think Pedro's a master of this game, though, too. So. Oh yeah. Well, he knows what to do and solve every situation. It's different. You can't save this guy. You know, I once told him. I said, "I'm going to leave you safe." He says, "The only way to leave me safe," he said, "is if you take one of the balls off the table." <laughs> <laughs> and that's still might not be safe. Yeah, exactly. Take a look at this. He's got the similar shot where he's got to avoid cutting the yellow into the red, and he's got to have his cue ball hit long, long, short. Mm -hmm. This is very similar to that one shot that he attempted earlier, where he had to hit that yellow ball thin, if you recall. And he ended up just missing it, going long, long. There it is. I think this time. Oh, he got it. He this got time it. He, he played it exactly that way. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. And I'm That's sure he adjusted he from it. the mistake he made last time. Mm -hmm. So 
So Kang ran a seven last inning. Mm-hmm. And Pedro responds right away. It's yeah. important that when a guy makes a high run or a big run, that you don't just return the inning right back to them. You gotta, yes. you gotta make you, make 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 some points to respond and, and, and show show that you have that same ability. It's That's what I love about these tournaments is that you really feel the the back and forth, the emotion mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that happens here on every game. Yes. Double the rail here by Pedro. He's gonna also. Oh, you know what? He didn't get back to the rail. He got, yeah, he hit too much ball, and the, the English didn't allow the English to take. Yeah, let's take a look at what happened here. He was trying to stun to the short rail yeah. and then spin back to the short rail. Look at the speed he hits it with. He hits it too hard, in my opinion, and too much ball. Oh, he did want a lot of the English. Just didn't grab on that second rail. It's still slipping. Yeah. And uh, that's... that's uh, he just needed to go a little bit closer to the corner, I think. A little story about Pedro, if I can say. That when I first met Pedro at Chris's Billiards back in the early 90s, he was 19 years old. And we were sitting in the bleachers watching Dickie Ospers playing a match. And he said to me, one day, Henry, I'm going to be down there competing with the best of these guys like the Ospers. And he was a 900 player back then. He was 19 years old. Look at him now. Yeah, I also remember when when Pedro first came to this country, very determined. He came mm-hmm. with a suitcase, a one-way ticket, mm-hmm. and he he, he came yeah. straight to Sangley's room, very looking nice. for lessons. Nice. So. Yeah, that's one wonderful memories. Kang just tried a five cushion shot got kissed out lost control a little bit for the first time in this game Pedro needs to capitalize yeah so the time I met I met Pedro at uh, Chris's Billiards was on the Carom tour back in the early 90s yep and uh, he was 19 years old and that's when he told me he says one day Henry you're gonna see me down there well, playing with the best of them and I, I always remind him about that too that he's yeah, like yeah look at him now that. he's one of the best players yes yes in the history of the United States Yes. And take a look at that shot. That's an example. Beautiful he brings control. the red. He brings the red to the middle of the table where there's more chances for more points. But look what happens here. He does not have a good shot. No, he, he just the, didn't fall. They didn't go in the right the, places for him. But he did a really nice job of trying to control the speed and the position yeah. of the falls. You gotta. He's, you, you try to control all the balls, but he controlled the red. The red's in a great spot. Mm-hmm. He just can't. You can't control everything and look at this though he's, he's he's found a window here he's gonna try to hit yellow first yeah then the ball yeah and then stroke it you try to like follow through isn't he with english he's so difficult through, stroke in english there he goes look at that. stroke in english look at that is it too much oh it's gonna be long it slips long, it's long. Yeah. the last couple he of shots he played it. the ball slipped off the rail instead of grabbing yeah, you know, yeah. It is Absolutely. it is humid today, but it is, and the balls will start to um, to shorten up a little over the cost yes. over the course of the game. But it is the first few innings, and he'll, he's going to adjust to it. We do have a humidistat in the room, and we have four dehumidifiers, one at each corner of the room, and we do a we keep close ties and tabs excuse me on the humidistat if it's ever below 40 we have those humid dehumidifiers well, I'll tell you what it might be working too good because I think Pedro is expecting with all the humidity that the player the mm. table will play a little short mm. the last couple of shots that, that double the rail mm. he didn't quite get the grab on the rail that he was looking for mm. and that's how he missed the shot very good very good observation on your part I agree with what you're saying well sense. look at this how nice Kang was that. just backed that How up. Nice was that. Masterful. Beautiful shot. Take a look at this shot. He he um, he judges the back up here. Long, long, short. Beautifully. The check side on the second rail is so hard to to gauge. It's and it's one thing to get the right angle in to engage, but it's another thing to actually hit that with the right speed as well. Look at that. Perfect. That was just masterful. And now he's got a bank shot. He might. 
play this short, so long, options. long. Yeah, yeah, you could do that. You could certainly do it. He's got oh, no, no, he's I go yellow. five rails right here, but we'll see. What he, maybe he's going to do a three rail. Yeah, he's playing five I rails. The left, of the, uh, left side of the white, right? Oh, no, he's he's trying to hit the corner. He's go short. Look at that. Look at that. Does he have enough hold up? Is he going to Perfect. Nice. Very nice. Wow. He went with the easier, the easier position shot, which leaves him another very similar shot if you look at this. He actually has so many different options. He, he can even go off the left side of the white and play five rails. Yeah, yeah. You definitely have many you know, Now options. that the red is open, open from the rail, it makes the that short, long, long pattern even more difficult. Mm -hmm. So now yeah. the only problem with him playing this five rails, if he's playing the five railer. It looks like a four railer to me. but Oh, he's, he yeah, you're right. He is. He's playing at yeah, four rails. Four rails. It's now it's a too short. short. He yeah, catches short. a little bit too much ball that time. He, did. he certainly did. He knew it after he, as soon as he hit yeah, it. Yeah, the second he hit it, he walked away. Yeah. The shooter always knows whether it's even got a chance or not. Yeah, you, you know if you got the hit that you wanted. I mean, we, see, we see my wife Kim in the background over there. Right to oh, the left great. Of Pedro. That's my wife Kim. There you go. Yeah, she doesn't know. She's, that she's, she's I'm glad that she has a chance to enjoy some of the matches here. Yeah, she's been doing a really fine job of, uh, of making sure that uh, we have prepared foods for all of our players that are wanting uh, to eat in Terrific. between their matches. Yeah, she's been so great this whole tournament. Mm -hmm. So Pedro's going to try to thin this and play uh, three or five rails. Let's see what he does. Whatever it takes to avoid the kiss, he might play three. Yeah. That way he can bring the yellow ball back to the middle of the table. Yeah. Or put it in a position for some short angles. Once again, perfect speed, perfect, perfect ball control. control, perfect position, just leaving themselves in very, very good position. Actually, he wished the red ball were a couple of inches to the left. He might be able to thin it, play a short angle, but this is hard. Suddenly, mm -hmm. this doesn't look so good from this angle. Unless he can feather this red ball. No, and Pedro, he'll be able to hit off the right side of that red and still get the angle that he needs without kissing into the uh, back I'll tell you what, he's, he's, he's thinking of he's gonna go three rails to the, feathering to the yellow. it. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that would be... He would have to wiggle that ball so that it hardly moved. Yeah. I mean, that's the kind of hit that he can, he can do. Yeah, absolutely. He keeps staring at this. Look at this. If he makes this. No. He's going to force he's follow. Gonna fo he's going to go right through the ball. Okay, interesting. The force he's follow. through about two-thirds of the ball. There he goes. Too short. Is it enough? No. Now it slips Too away. Short. Didn't grab on the first rail. No, it didn't. You're right. It didn't grab very well. So... He wants to hit this ball a little fuller. Of course, there was a little unlucky he got this position, but wanted to grab on that first yeah, rail. You know what ended up happening? He lost that the ball, angle. That ball got some squirt uh, at the moment he hit, and that made it lose the angle that he was looking for there. All right, well, Kang needs to capitalize Forty points is a long, a longer game than than the twenty-five points we're playing in the preliminaries. Yeah, forty points so definitely. You can't. We're you only a, we're only a quarter of the way there right now. Look at this. He drove Once the red again. away from the kiss. Very very Perfect nice. Board ball Perfect control. position. Everything is. I'm really impressed with this young man. Really impressed with his game. I've never seen him play until until just this event, and and I can see he has a lot of talent and he has a lot of experience already at such a young age. See where he pushes that red, so it stays away from the white. That's mm -hmm. a kiss that you get a lot. Connects. Mm -hmm. So he's taking an extra look at this. He might be playing outside of the white. Hmm. Do you think it's too kissy kisses. on the inside? That's, oh, what? 
Let's yeah, that's see. what he's doing. Yeah, I think you're right. He's playing on the outside of the white to play it yeah, short. Come pretty short, too. Yeah, that's oh, right. Look at that. He this is that a really great. Good. Yes, and he catches it. That's very nice. He's good at those shots. I've seen him shoot those before and do very well with that angle. Let's take a look at this. He, he passed up going off the left side of the white in order to play this. To long, short, long, long with speed. And with the reverse and the backup, made this ball very big. Just catches it. Yeah, that was just really, really good ball control on his part. Yes. Now, though, he has a challenging shot on either side of either ball. Look at this. There's, it looks like there's no shot. One thing he might be able to do is hit it with a very flat ball, hit the red with a flat ball, and try to just float down with no English or maybe even a little bit of hold up. I think that's what he's doing. Let's see. Let's see what he what it shows. Oh, he was trying to hold it up. He was trying to hold the line yeah. with speed, but that's exactly. so hard to do. Yeah. I think part of what he, part of his thinking was to leave Pedro with, just facing yeah. the balls with a Which distance. Which is what he did. Yeah. He accomplished his goal. If he's, he's not scoring, he's keeping he's control. Leave him safe. Pedro doesn't like this position sure he has a plan. Kang currently averaging 1.7 right now. That's really, really high. That's wonderful to see in in our you know in our national tournaments to see that kind of average. That's world class. It really is. Well it's still a lot of game to go but I know but that's this world is class. exactly what he needs to do with Pedro. A, pa a Pedro usually yes. He can it's come the back other so way around. Fast. Oh yeah. Pedro can turn around and run a fifteen on you, and before you know it, you're in the you're in the hole. So he's, Pedro's going to try to return the safety here by knocking Kang's yellow to the other side of the table. That was very nice. Table. Very nice try. Even though he's not. But he flattened it up a little bit. But he he made sure he kept Kang. He re, he, he turned the tables on Kang basically. And now one of the one of the things that Kang has to do is see if he can attack this while defending at the same time to keep mm -hmm. control. Not easy to do from this position. I wonder what he's gonna do here. He's gonna do something. Looks like he's gonna feather the outside of the white. Let's see this. This is a pretty good. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wow. Well, he was clearly trying to yeah, hit the he long was rail. To get the long rail first. But you know what? Regardless, it was a little bit of a defense because what he's doing is he's making sure that Pedro is not sitting between the balls. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, as long yeah, as he's smart. facing the balls. He's going to leave a shot. Now, if he hit the long rail like he was trying to, he would have had a chance to make it. I agree. I so totally that was a really agree. smart shot. It was. It and, was. Um, everything, everything that King is doing, he's doing Oh, he right. studies. You know, yeah. Back in New York, he's, he looks at every position, shoots it every which way to figure out what is the right move in every single situation. That is, that is a true professional right there. I think Pedro's looking to have play a rail first. A very tricky shot. Cushion first. And spins into the rail. Beautiful shot. Very nice. Very What very a nice. solution for a Absolutely. difficult shot. Look at this. He uses 
inside English, rail first. That's a very difficult shot. The right English on the first rail basically and becomes you know running. How much ball to hit so that you don't kiss into the red. See that? Becomes running on the next two and perfect. Perfect Beauty, shot. Beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. And now Pedro will attempt to drop it into the red, maintaining control. Mm, is it a little bit slippy? Yeah, a little he too slipped much around. Oh, if he would have hit, he had, the hit on that has got to be so precise. He hit a little too much ball on Once that. again, kind of it long. slipped on him. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It wasn't as sticky as he was looking for. Yeah, I but, uh, but he still controls the game. Absolutely, absolutely. And that alone is, 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 Kang feels it, you know? Yeah, yeah. Kang is finding that he's his sh he's not selling out shots. He has to create the positions. He has his work cut out for him. Oh yeah, for but sure. He's, but he's he's so masterful, and uh, he does such a wonderful job. Of you know, it's a lot of that comes from his pool experience. He's mm -hmm. he plays a lot of tense tournament matches. He's a mm -hmm. tournament player, so mm -hmm. he knows what it takes. He'll never give up. He stays down on mm -hmm. every shot. He I maintains his that. emotions, so that's a wonderful thing. Very, very disciplined young man. It's a rare... That's what, that's what, that's what makes him so impressionable. It's impressive, yeah. So he's going to go five cushions here and try to go off the top of the white. Mm -hmm. Let's see. It almost looks like he's trying to find another solution. Yeah. He's not looking at the lines for a five rail. No, he's not looking at. Oh, look at this. It's not, what is it's he not a doing? Traditional shot. No, he's this isn't. Going long, long, he's long trying to, to long, 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 and then drop it in there. Let's see. Oh, he's trying to drop in. Short. Oh, this is a beautiful wow. shot. Wow. That, is that was exactly huh? what he was trying to do. Wow. That, that is was very, very impressive. Shot. You know, I've seen him do that shot in New York. Really? Yeah. No, he. You don't see that, that was no accident. That was a very creative. Um, very we just creative. have to see that again. And precise. Take a look too. at this. He plays two the long precision. rails, catches the red, and then plays to the white. That's like a Sang Lee shot. Yeah, yeah. We watched Sang Lee do that yeah, in the video. Two way shot because you could have hit the white ball first and then the rail and then the red. So he, you know, I understand yeah, how he hit it. Yeah, that was yeah. great. You're it right. I mean, perfect you know, option. Look at this. Oh, Ooh, he just yes, misses yeah. ten. The, but you know what? Look at look what he look at he, he, he maintains control. <laughs> I agree. I understand and, that. And uh, wow, but but that last shot was just maybe the best shot of the tournament. I'm going to put in a little plug for our friends over in Madison, Wisconsin. They're going to be having um, world number one Dickie Ospers. Uh, they're going to have a clinic at the Madison Three Cushion Billiard Club on October the fifth and the sixth. And, uh, oh, that's great. Yeah, he's going to have uh, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., it says here on Wednesday, uh, the 5th and the 6th, and then 10 a.m. on Thursday. Basically, uh, $250 gets you in uh, for the clinic, and you're part of the six- or eight-man uh, clinic. I'm not sure of exactly all the details, but if you do have any interest, please contact Gary Eakey. That's Gary great. Eakey, um, yeah, you Madison... The other person would be the uh, director, of the club director, which is Bruce Bensky. Okay, at, uh, that's great, Madison that's great. Club. Yeah, okay. Let's take a look at this shot. Oh, Ooh, that was Pedro close. was just, just tried a very, very difficult cushion first shot. Yeah. It's a critical moment because Pedro needs to avoid Kang running away with the lead that he did. Pedro's starting to feel a little He's frustration. He's starting to feel a little heat. Take a look at this. Pedro tries to hit rail first, just grab the red. Just catches a little too yep. full, misses yep. it just Ooh, by a hair. By much. No, he didn't. The frustration setting in is because he's coming so close to, to uh, executing the sh shots that he wants, but yet he's missing. He's just missing. Yeah, but you know what? Uh, it, it's Kang who's putting him in, the, in those yes. positions oh, I totally and agree keeping with you. that pressure on. Once I he loses control, Kang has to make the points. Yes, so I totally agree with you. Look at this. Take look a look at, at this. this. Oh, Does he have enough this. speed, though? Yeah, I it's a good line. He's got the speed. 
he almost that. makes it. Uh, yeah, he didn't. Uh, wow. Yeah, he certainly had enough English there. Yeah, I thought it had momentum. I thought the ball had a little more, a little more. Um, Just a little bit more speed. Yeah. Take a look at this. Cue ball spinning. It looked like it had some juice on it. Just it runs no out of momentum. speed. And no speed to make it. Sorry. Yeah. So you're talking about a clinic that um, yes, that uh, Dick Chaspers will have in, in Wisconsin. Yes. Everybody should try to take advantage of that. Contact Gary Eakey. Yes. Yes. Contact Gary Eakey or Bruce Bensky, who's, uh, who's at uh, the... Madison Club. We'll try to, I think you'll be able to see the information about this on the USPA.net website, so people should yeah. check that out. Pedro's looking at trying to solve this problem. If he plays off the left side of the white, yellow, he needs to, oh, he might play short, 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 long. He's got to put a lot of power into this. It's, it's in much lot of space. Ooh. Short, short. Ooh, short, short, long. You're right. Very nice call. Beautiful. That's wonderful. You called it. Like I said, from the booth, I'm <laughs> I make everything. It's so strange. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, look, he has he has a difficult shot here, but he can play a bank shot. Mm -hmm. If he was further from the sh the long rail, he can actually, you know, kick into a ticky. Mm -hmm. But I think the the, the natural round the table bank shot plays more. Oh, you know what? He's not even gonna. He's not, mm. You know what? I don't even know what he's doing. He's he's using. Let's see what he's gonna try. Inside English. Out. Yeah, he's, he's gonna play the bank shot. That's what he's pointing at. Mm -hmm. He's pointing mm -hmm. at the last yeah. rail. Um, I think you're right. Let's see if he can. Any amount of red ball he catches, he makes it. So let's see. He's been misjudging the slide on this. So let's see if he can play this. Ooh, he wait, just wait. gets Oof. he just gets kissed out in the last Yeah. It was gonna be a it was gonna be a sure a sure score until the kiss came in the last second. Yeah, take a look at this. I stole the he show. hits it great. I mean I mean, you can't hit it any better. You hit the right. You hit the right side of the red. But take a look at this. Just, just a little too full. That's he the just catches it a little too full, and he just that's it. Just misses it. This is unlucky. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it really but is. you know what it is? He's having trouble judging the exact slide of the table, and yep. that that comes into play. Absolutely. It Kang does. has to capitalize this with this um, from the with this short angle. I think that if Kang scores this point, he's going to really make a big hit on this. Uh, in this game, there it is. Wow, I like how he played it. He wasn't playing safe. He was playing to bring that yellow back to He's the same side position. for another short angle. Right, look at that. <coughs> he can see the left side of that white, so he can shoot a short angle off the left side of that yeah, white. Yeah, and too. I believe that if he wanted to, he could probably play the same short angle off the left side of the red. That, that's, true. <coughs> that's true. Or he might bank it even. Yeah. But I, he has so many options. He has options. Because the two balls are in the middle of the table. That's where you want to be, <coughs> folks. You want to have you want to have your two object balls in the middle center of the table, if possible. Let's see if he keeps his composure here. He's looking for. Sh oh, he plays a cross table. Wow! Perfect. Look at that. He that in he's many so confident many times it's that cross table is less complicated. But he's so confident with his cross tables. I think that's what it is. He favors the cross table a lot most of the times when I've seen him shoot. Yeah. He prefers that shot. I can't blame him if he's that good at it. Why not go with what works for you? Yeah, sure. You know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's been having a lot of success with every shot on the table. Yeah. But he look at this though. He, yeah. He he can't go off the red. There's a lot of kisses. Hmm. I actually see a crazy shot right now. It would be two rails first off the corner behind the red, coming back, hitting that red ball full. And then coming straight down to the. Uh, you know corner. what? He's such a good ball striker. Yeah, he's he going to feather it. this and he's hardly move it. it. That's what he's thinking. Wow! Oh look gosh, at that that's shot. That's unbelievable. Oh, you know what he, he, he did? He hit almost, that too good. He almost made it, and he's he thinking that on the professional he, side. He missed it. <laughs> he hit it too thin. Yeah. And take a look at that. He was. He's triple smart. He left he, it. Wow, he, he left. He still it. kept control. Yeah, he still kept control of the position. 
what a, what an attack, impressive. defend, position, everything. Now Pedro is playing all kinds of difficult shots. Mm -hmm. This is not an easy bank shot. I mean, what do you do here? You can play five rails long. You can go up and down, maybe long, short, short, long. Knowing, yeah, knowing Pedro, he'd probably go short, short, long. But yeah, I'm sure Pedro's thinking about eight different options that he's going to play, but, you know, yeah, yeah. we're trying to find one. I mean, if you look at it, he can actually go five rails long on this, too, and score. Because he's all the way down at the, at the bottom edge there where you can go really, really long. So let's see. He might be trying what I just suggested. He is playing. He's going long, he's going short, short, short. Long, short. Oh, long, yeah, that's short. What I was oh, saying. wow. To play it underneath. Yes, that's what I wow, was saying. Wow, that's looking really beautiful. Look what a nice shot. And look at that. Look what he's doing with that he position. Perfect position with that, yes. Bravo, Pedro. Bravo. So even though Kang's ahead, I'm sure he's he, he feels Pedro's um, oh. coming at him from behind. Pedro is such a dominant, such a dominant force too in this game. It's like you feel the pressure just, just getting started in the match <laughs> before you even score before a point. Before you even score a point, absolutely. I wanted to put a quick uh, word in about uh, about the Madison uh, Dickie Ospers visiting there. I really wish that he could just come and visit our location too while he's in the area. Who knows if he'll have time, probably not, but uh, not that I expect to do any clinics or anything, but just just to have a chance to have him see another uh, room in the area, too. Look at that. Look at that position. He yeah, just made he's that. That's natural with position. You know, it's no luck that the red isn't frozen to the rail, too. And this is the kind of position that Pedro can score bunches off of. Well, now I think he can drive this red ball to the short rail. Mm -hmm. Short, long, short, and back to the same middle yep. of the table. Yep. There I is actually. there is a kiss to pass though. Yes, um, there is. You the have to be the red ball coming after it. three rails can come in in in, in oncoming traffic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have to be careful how you drive this ball. Yeah. Let's see how he holds it. Look at that. Oh, you were right. See, he, he got a kiss. It. You he got a it. he got a different kiss there, you but, it, but yeah, he hit it thin. So you've got to get out of that kiss. You either drive it or you cut it, right? Right. And he, he, he kind of did it. in between. He did a little bit in between, exactly. And that's when you get into kiss trouble, when you when you're not completely sure about which way to go. Just a miss miss hit from Pedro, and Kang's back at the table. And. Uh, there is a compulsory break at 20 points. Mm -hmm. So it's always psychologically really a, a nice thing to be going into the break ahead of the game. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know? Absolutely. Take a look at this shot. Um, Kang is looking to play. If he can't thin it thin enough to go five or six, he can go straight to the short rail and flatten it up. But I think he might... It all depends on whether or not he thinks he can pass the kiss with the white. Which he did. Is it short enough? It is. Just oh, hits it. Beautiful very, shot. Very, very nice. Not only was that a beautiful score, but look at the position. There's a little, it's a little kissy, but I think it's a great position regardless. I think he might even play this off the red. Really? Because to play this on the inside, the only way to really pass the kiss is making a ticky. That's he true. He could go on the outside and play it short, long, Miguel, long. I saw Miguel make this shot with the ticky, just like you said. He made this shot. I'm not sure. He likes too. that shot. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he does. It looks, it looks it like Kang, well. he is looking at the white. I immediately imagine that he might play off the red. He could drive through the white. He could drive through the white with a uh, high left and still be able to get uh, to get the angle that he needs to score. Yeah, I think he's looking at the red. Yeah, There's no right. problems. Wow. He can hit the ball exactly where he wants. I could tell two gray minds think alike there, Ira. <laughs> well, I don't know. Like I said, I make everything from the booth. Yeah. Yeah, but this is a great shot. He's playing this. This is a very safe position because if he misses, which 
He did. He missed. Uh-oh. He just missed it. But he hit that red ball so hard. I thought he was going to feather it a little bit more. Because look at that. Now he's going to leave. Now he's going to have to open, open table. And that's not him like him to leave open table. Yeah, well, he expected to make that for sure. Yeah, yeah, he did, I'm sure. The problem was the amount of speed he hit that with. He stayed down. It brought the red ball out. The balls might be getting a little bit stickier now. He expected it to slide. He missed it just by a hair. He did. It was very close. I agree. But the problem he is did. that Pedro's got a great shot right now. He's left Pedro with a big opening. Now this red ball is teasing uh -oh, the uh -oh. line. Uh-oh. Pedro. Wow. That red ball got in your way. Wow. Pedro's looking up in the air. Kang is a can't believe yeah. that he missed that. It was a, a big break. opportunity. Very lucky break. That could have been Kang. a lot of points from that oh, position. Yes, absolutely. And that's kind of what Pedro was counting on by shooting it the way he did. He was expecting to set a position for the next shot. I'll tell you what though, I don't see any shot from here. There is a there isn't any easy shot, but a bank shot maybe. He's gotta go to the short rail, I think. There's no line. Hey, he just he just did a shot similar to this, going plus two, didn't he? You remember that shot? Yeah, well, the thing is, though, he has to go from underneath. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So short, long, short, and he's trying to catch this there. I think he can do it. It's just not easy. Right. It's no gimme. No, absolutely not. I don't not. know what he's looking at right now. He's Maybe he's just taking a look at where his... Um, you know, an interesting shot he can play is reverse English off the long rail to his right and then spin into a natural, but he's, no, you know what he's, yeah, he's. Oh, he's just going to go ahead and go uh, with a, with a three rail. It's just a three rail bank shot going straight He could make red. this off the white. He's going to make Perfect. it off the white. Perfect. Wow. What a, nice what a shot. That was an incredible nice jacked up. Yeah. Jacked up the ball, actually hops a little bit. He that finds shot the actually got a big line. smile and a rise out of Leo. Our Take cameraman. a look at that shot. The cue ball actually jumped off the rail. And now he he comes in perfectly oh. in line to score. Don't so, block us. Don't yeah, block he, us, we, King. We can't see it. But uh, that was a beautiful shot. Mm, yes, it was. Absolutely. One for the record books. Now... Now, what do you do from here? I don't believe he's just going to jump on this. This looks really, really difficult. Great cueing here. Oh, beautiful hit. Excellent. So, so excellent. They're very smooth, very smooth High shot. quality. Mm -hmm. And Kang gets the 20 mark first. Big lead on Pedro. It's astounding what he's doing in this tournament. Mm -hmm. He's breaking. He's breaking uh, ground in his own game, just in this tournament. Mm -hmm. You know. Yes. Now he's got twenty. It's twenty to thirteen. Um, after he finishes after the he inning, finishes the inning, then uh, they'll take a, a compulsory break, a nice. five-minute break, and we'll have a chance All right. to regroup. And let's take a look at. What he's doing here is he's he's going for an accurate hit on the red. <sighs> Hits it too wow, thin. Wow, he was just too good on that hit. Too he good. hit it too thin. Yep, yeah. I saw that. So this is it, break time. Okay, well, Sports as we go fans, into a break, do not leave. Us. Do not leave. This is the halftime break, and I'd like to use this opportunity to thank our sponsors. CaramSports.com is bringing us the stream here today. Our sponsors are Predator CRM uh, uh, that makes the, the Sang Lee line of cues, the mm -hmm. Revo carbon fiber shafts that has taken the three cushion world by storm. Uh, Predator is actually even now making uh, Caram billiard tables used at the World Cup. Excellent. We have Theory Cues. Uh, yes. 
a Turkish Q company that's mm -hmm. supporting American billiards from all the way from the other side of the world. Yes. We have local support from uh, Noel Mendoza with his Schuler by Mendoza Qs. Yes. We have million dollar billiard products. We have Simonis cloth, the best in the business. We have Aramith Super Pro Cup balls. Yes. And, and we're here in the beautiful room owned by yourself. Thank you. Henry, we are Techea. Yes, thank you. 5,000 years billiards. Thank you, yes. We're very excited and happy about uh, this event and hold, hosting this event. And uh, we're, we're really uh, honored, really honored. Yeah, it's, a pri it's an honor and a privilege here to be uh, helping to do this dream here. Anybody that's in the Chicago area that loves billiards should come to 5,000 years bil billiards. It's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a, a beautiful room, clean, perfect tournament conditions, a lot of space between the tables. They have not only six beautiful heated European carom tables, they've got a Riley snooker table. Mm -hmm. They have brand new refurbished uh, Brunswick tables and, and, and even diamond tables. So I think it's, it's a really a player's room and anybody that comes here should, should check it out. Um, we have uh, uh, a com I'm on the on the screen here. We have a, a commemorative uh, polo shirt and cap for for, for this beautiful room, five thousand years, Karen, which you guys yes. are selling. Yes, if you are. have a chance to come to the room, come to the room and and ask about uh, you know. Or you can, or you, can, you can simply call us. You can Google 5,000 Years Karen Billiards and get our phone number and call us, and we'll be happy to uh, take a uh, payment over the phone and uh, ship you the products if yeah. you are interested. Order order a, a really cute shirt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we also do want to thank um, our uh, pool table mover, uh, Mickey. Mickey Campbell. Mickey Campbell. Mickey, Mickey Campbell, Campbell from yes. it with his company, Mickey Needs Money. Yeah, it's a funny, funny name. <laughs> but I'll right. tell you what, he doesn't just take money. He gives it as well. He, too. he gives it because he just donated a big amount of money to support this USBA National yes. uh, 2022 Nationals. He played in it. Yes. So he participated yes. and he gave back. And you know what? I've used his services. He moves yes. tables with such care. Yes. He moved some beautiful three cushion predator tables mm -hmm. from the Las Vegas, Nevada mm -hmm. uh, World, World Cup. Cup. Mm -hmm. And he moved them into customers' homes, and they're super happy. He takes a lot of care. He cares about how he moves the tables. So yes. if you yes. want to just order, I mean, if you just want to use a regular LTL freight guy that doesn't care about the load, uh, good luck to you. Yes. But with Mickey, he, he makes sure that the tables arrive safely. Well, he's, he has a vested interest in the game. He loves the game. Right. He loves both pool and billiards. Everybody, everybody should... Uh, Join the USBA. Yes, absolutely. Join the USBA. Go to USBA.net to sign up to become a member. Also, check out the tournament charts. Yes. And um, it's a great it's a great uh, and check privilege out, to, right, to be a right. to be a member and to do the things that uh, that one can do to help this organization. Find out how to participate in local regional tournaments, mm -hmm. and <laughs> even potentially qualify for the world stage. We're going to have a World Cup. In Las Vegas, Nevada, yes, the eight top players here qualified to play there in February 2023. And what and a wonderful yeah, achievement! The that Predator, is. the Predator CRM, UMB World Cup, All best players to, in the world. Thanks to um, Kareem and uh, Predator Group, and uh, obviously yourself, Ira, and Predator CRM. For uh, helping to make this all happen, this is really, I think, a uh, a big game changer in the industry for billiards and carom in particular. Yeah, we have a we have a great opportunity for the game to make a resurgence here. Mm -hmm. Okay, the players are back; they just came back from the break. Mm -hmm. Pedro's back at the table, and I'm sure he he's taking his he's break. Ready and thinking to go about ahead and get back to business. A very thin hit here. He's got a kiss to pass. Oh, he went straight wow. to the... With force, but he didn't hit enough ball. It's either that or a he little more ball a little bit. Or a little bit more English, yeah, one or the other. Wow, so he he's still struggling a little bit with the table conditions. Kang's back at the table with an opening. I actually believe he's going to play this off the white because off the red, 
not only is the white are there holes that he can miss it's hard to control if he plays the white ball he can oh I wonder what he's doing well nothing will surprise me with this young man as good as I see he is and as talented and imaginative he's playing as he is. he's playing uh, he was trying to play yeah, four rails he was but yeah, yeah, first enough. really big mistake that he he's made. Pedro happy to come back to the table so fast. He has a chance now to play a spin shot off the red. Mm -hmm. It's got a built-in safety too. If he hits it full and spins it, the red ball will creep toward the short rail and then his cue ball will spin into attack. He's pointing at his third rail. He's going to stroke this with the speed to retreat from the yellow, but he's going to first try to attack this point. Slow Just speed. missed it. Once again, the 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 rail's not grabbing the way that he's imagining the shot. Yeah, shots. I think I think what's happening here is that Pedro's misjudging the misjudging the uh, characteristics of the table. Yes, okay, that's what's happening yeah. here. And you know what? It's still not too late. He can no, it's he not. can catch it, and once he catches it. But the truth be told, at this level, Ira, either of the two, the first one that's picking up on all of this is going to be the one that's going to prevail. Absolutely. And I think right now, King having come off fresh off of beating Ugo at this table is familiar with the characteristics of this it's table. almost by the same margin if you notice yeah it is and the next few yeah. innings are going to really define the rest yes. of this game if this Kang is, makes a charge right now, right now what's going to happen here let's see does he judge this Kang just oh, misses he just it oh just missed it well, that's a good try though yeah he defends Look, he nice. almost freezes Pedro on the rail he's not taking any chances He's talking to Pedro. He's telling him, you would, you're going to have to break some safeties here. Yeah. What do you see him doing? Uh, well, It's so difficult. He can feather the red and go four rails, but that's such uh, a hard I, hit. Yeah, going off the right side of the red and coming around the table is really the, the, right, the best shot, even though it is not an easy shot. Tell you what, I hate, I hate to take that shot. Yeah. It's so sensitive. It is. You miss it by a, a fraction of a millimeter and it doesn't go. Oh, and also he's gonna go off the yellow. Look at this. He's, he's gonna go he's gonna go short, to short, long. No, long, long, short, excuse me. Long, long, short. Let's see if I'm right. Looks kissy. Yep, oh, look at wow. that. And he's still gonna make it. He made the point. No, 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 no. He, Look at this. He might make it now. Oh, oh. <laughs> You're right. I'm yeah, sorry. He hit the I yellow was mistaken. First. I'm yeah. looking at the yellow. Sorry. Yeah, but he he wanted to hit the yellow so that he could, um, you know, leave distance again. Yeah. But here's a situation where here's a situation where he can play a bank shot. It's not easy. I think a bank shot here would would really open the open the game up for him too. If he scores this, he's gonna most likely get himself in a pretty good position, depending on his speed too, of course. Oh, he just missed it. You know, that was always a chance at that speed. Yes. At yes, that speed, is. I was looking at that and I was gonna say something. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna hit that bank shot, you gotta hit it slow. At that speed, you'd have to clip it very thin in order to yes. score. And that's I agree. That was a very nice try. Very, very nice, nice try. try. Pedro doesn't get an automatic shot. He has to play four rails. I'm seeing Pedro taking a little more time at the table. I don't know if you've noticed this, but I see him taking even more time than usual at the table, and I think it's because he's he's losing confidence in his abilities and shooting on the, because of the characteristical changes of the table. 
Yeah, I, you know what? He's so experienced. I, I, I'm going to give him. He's 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 always been methodical. Yeah, that's true too. I'm going to I'm going to give him a little bit more uh, credit here and say that he's still trying to figure out the table and he's looking to make his move. Look at that. That that, that shot says states it. Control. He he that went in there with no control. defense. He's not happy of the fact that he's has to shoot over the ball. In fact, I think he's going to end up shooting this off the yellow ball. No. There he goes. He's going up. Wow. The he's, 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 he's taken a decision to shoot the red. Awkward cueing. No. No, no, no. He's changing his mind. Mm. He's going to shoot this off the I right side that. of the yellow. Short, long, long. It's position. It's, it's safety. It's everything. So... He's Why deferring. wouldn't he take that? He's deferring to Ira's words of wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sure he's not going to be listening to anything I'm saying anytime soon. No, I know he's not listening to us. But um, All I'm he, saying is I wouldn't like to hit jacked up over that yellow ball. You're right. You're absolutely I'll right. I'll end up mass saying the ball and then jumping it off the table. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course, if I know you were a Miguel disaster Torres, you would have it. no problems with uh, that He'll one-stroke it and make it every time. <laughs> Take a look at this. Yes. It's almost a free shot. But he's thinking, figuring to make it. Oh, yeah. He misses <gasps> oh, it. Oh, it doesn't slip this time. Now no. it's sticking. Now it's stuck. Now it's stuck. And that's got to be a little bit uh, frustrating for... Once again, I believe that he's misjudging the slide on the ball. Yeah, that's apparent. That's apparent. And it's, it's and a lot of this has to do with the pressure that Kang's asserting at mm -hmm. the table. Mm -hmm. Kang, look at this. He's a pool player, so he'll bank this into that little hole. Mm -hmm. And, or if he can hit full, he can avoid the kiss altogether. But he'll go three rails off the white. It really doesn't matter what happens. He can't, he can't get a bad position. Beautiful. He hit that so nicely with, oh, with yeah. the control. Look at the control that he has. And it's just, with him, it's just like, uh, it's, it's a natural. It, become, it comes naturally to him. I'm noticing that about him. It's like, he doesn't struggle at all, really. Once he sets down, his he gets right His to fundamentals are so strong. Yes. Yes. He's not struggling with uh, the mechanics of touching the first ball where he wants, mm -mm. you know? And he's just learning more and more shots in his repertoire, which yeah. is already super dangerous. Look at this one. He's going to play it thin, and he's going to play the backup. So he's thinking exactly where he's going to hit the, four, the fourth and fifth rail. There's no safety here, so he has to make it. Oh, nice. Look at the speed he hit that with so that he can come up short. Oh, wow. He played that four it up. rails instead he, of five. He played it four, short, uh, four rails and he shortened it up with yeah, the speed. To cinch it. Yes, absolutely. That was a beautiful I execution. I love that. Very the, nice. The way to attack that shot. Nicely executed, Kang. Kang Kong. Kang Kong, the <laughs> giant killer. We so say that with affection and, and with no disrespect to his opponent, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, no. You know. Even though his opponents are wonderful <laughs> well, players. Listen, we know right. Pedro is the, is the reigning national big, champion. Reigning 10-time national champion, yes. big-time favorite in this game. That's why, we, that's why we call King the giant killer. But we, we love a good match here, and we, we always root for the underdog, right? Yeah, uh, we do. We have to say that. Sorry, Pedro. Tell you what, I'm already, we love you too, but I'm already we have to go uh, assuming it. that Pedro is going to come back with a 15 real soon. Most likely. And I'm looking forward to it yes, right now, though. Yes. Kang. We is both welcome the uh, bravura of both of these players. Kang now looking to extend his lead. It's already becoming. He's on a run of three. Doesn't look like he's ready to miss that. Although he has this shot here off the left side of the white that he'd like to hit with a little more ball. The problem is, if he does, the kiss is going to start coming into play. So let's take a look at what he does with the white ball. He's coming in. Oh, very close Passes to the kiss. The kiss. Nice. Perfect control. <laughs> wow, nice shot. Did you see the transition of that ball, the angle it was coming in? The line went from initially coming in short to then almost coming in long. 
Right, watch the watch the angle that this ball takes. Watch the line it takes oh. after it comes off the long rail. Look at this. Dang. It's coming. It's coming. It's look like it's going to shorten up, and then it starts to long. See how it starts to lengthen up right there? Well, the spin wow. of the ball will actually turn it. You know. Yeah. No, I understand it. The spin made that happen, but this is the wonderful Simone's cloth that we have too. That's making the, these balls react the way they do. Well, Kang's showing that he's really feeling this table. And that's what he it takes is. at this level. Yes, it is. You know, systems, systems can only take you so far. Mm -hmm. You have to feel the material and what it's doing. And that's what he's doing. And now, look, he's going to play this long, long short, which, mm -hmm. which requires the ultimate feel. Yes, You've got absolutely. check side on the second cushion and the third cushion. That's right. So that's, that's right. what he's going to have to do let's to, see how, let's see to how much he drop this, this end. Though. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Nice hit. He played that with speed. Beautiful, Beautiful. attacking pace. Oh, I got us. We have to see that shot again. And he opens up the table too. Look at this position he has. He left he left many spectators staring at him after that <laughs> after that yeah. shot. There was a lot this look at this shot. With the speed he slices the ball. And it goes the right into the angle. Opened it out, you know, because that has a, that has a tendency that to, as soon as it hits that corner, it just backs up straight up. But he, he made that look too. easy. Yeah, that was did. not easy. It was not easy at all. This is a really nice position, and oh, he misses it. He missed it. Just missed it. We know that no shot is easy, but that shot was a straightforward angle shot. And so there's just this match. He's played already several shots that you can you can say were some of the best shots of the tournament. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, absolutely. Pedro's getting down to business here. He's a great player from behind, so mm -hmm. Kang needs to watch out. Oh yes, he, absolutely. You got to continue to. Be Pedro is careful. dangerous at any level and at any, any game, stage of the game. Any stage of the game. Look, he's going four rails here, going to the short rail first. It's going to be f somewhat flat. No, look at that. Looks good. Is there a hole? There is. Is there, there a, is hole? a hole? Oh my gosh! And he, he just found passed it. the hole. He found it. This is going to be this is going to be very frustrating for Pedro. You know, I was just last night after Ugo Patino lost to uh, Kang Lee. Uh, we went to dinner and uh, we were talking about his game, and he said how frustrating it was that he missed a few by just a hair, and then he because he missed two or three in a row like that. Oh, two millimeters. Yeah, because he missed two or three in a row like that, that it, it threw him off his game, and that's what does, that's what can happen to anybody. It, it'll drive anybody mad. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. to miss that ball by a millimeter no, but after miss, hitting it so good. And to miss back-to-back -back shots like this. Take a look at this double the rail. Yeah, it. you're right. It's it just frustrating. It. Kang's playing a double the rail shot. Yeah, here no, we go. No, no, no. Two rails. Two rails first. Oh, and beauty. he catches it. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful shot. Yeah, he knew exactly what he was doing. And look at the nice position that he wants to believe in himself. He, that's how he's rewarded. Wow, Look at that. that was a really nice shot. Two rails with a speed so he can bounce off the red and get back to the rail. Yeah. Take a look at the speed he uses, guys. No English. Two rails. Catches the right amount of ball, catches the rail right before the yellow white. Yes. Scores. Just a beautiful execution. Short angle here. Perfect control. Once again, leaving nice open position. Although this one's challenging. He might have to spin this off the red ball. I don't see the natural line here. Hmm. There's really nothing off the white. He's got to hit the right side of the red and spin this short, long, short. And I think he'll use a, uh, a little speedier to race mm -hmm. away from, from, the, from the white mm -hmm. in case, just in case. But he's of course gonna try to make this continue his run. He's on a run of two now. If anybody 
to make this shot. It's king. Based oh, on how is he playing a short angle? He's playing a short angle. Look at this. Folks. Look at that. Look at this. That's Bold. so nice. Bold. That was beautiful. Forget that safety. Was beautiful. Forget safety. He's he's nailing these yeah. shots. <coughs> he's looking to win this game, Lyra. He doesn't care about defending right now. He that wants to win. That attitude is a great attitude to have. Of course. It's hard to have that attitude with Pedro, though. Yeah, you're We've right. all played him. You know, who, you know who this reminds me of? This reminds me of Blomdahl. Blomdahl is like this. He's just, you know, Bang. he's so he's so aggressive with the offense. Yeah. He doesn't care about the defense. Yeah. As far as he's concerned. Yeah, you out-average me. The best defense is offense. <laughs> exactly. It's a bloodbath <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> when you play so Blomdahl. You'll have to, you'll have to uh, outscore me. Mm -hmm. Look at this. All... All wow, beautiful was bomb that? rails. That was, that was beautiful. amazing. He's playing with a level of confidence that is just off the charts here. Yeah, yeah, he really is. Stepping up. He's coming into his own. That's the way, the way I can see it put it. Take a look at this. He has another chance here. Big opening to hit the left side of the white. Take a look at this shot. Just nicks it. He's gonna go all slide all the way up to the corner and spin down to the red. Is it long enough? Might not be long enough. Uh, nope, it's too short. Ooh. Just misses. And Pedro has a chance here. This is a big opening for Pedro. Yeah, it is. He has to make a move now. It's now or never, Pedro. I'll never say never, but. Pedro's down 15 points. You Kang's, see that, right? Kang av is averaging over 1.5 now. Unbelievable that that he can hold Pedro down so like this, just like he did to Ugo. It's control. It's wow. the level. Of, it's his cue ball control. It's just the, wow. on, uh, All I he's can playing, say is wow. He's brought his A game to the table, that's for sure. Yeah. I expect Pedro to make this. I do. Fairly certain he will. It's a oh, little long. Oh no. It's a little bit this. long. You know what's happening? Pedro's completely lost confidence in his in his shots. He's, he's misjudging and, he's and misjudging now, all and of now these. Now if shots. you look at his reaction, normally he's always got his poker face on. No poker face this time, folks. He's definitely feeling the frustration. He's definitely feeling the pressure. And and, yes. uh, and if Kang can can get in, you know, uh, ma make a big run here. I mean, Kang just made a five and a four back to back. And um, if he can get through this, it's going to get more and more difficult. Yes, but this is, is a tough shot, though. Take a look at what he's left him. The only shot I see here is if he goes off the right side of the red ball, and then gets short long long mm -hmm. it requires the perfect speed and, and English and mm -hmm. the problem here is you're so far from that red ball and you're spinning it with right English you're practically bowling the ball mm -hmm. and it's going to swerve it's hard to get that hit yeah. it's hard to avoid double kissing it mm -hmm. oh it Too didn't tough. quite Too get the tough didn't get the ball contact he was looking for, but that was hard. Yeah. That was hard. And Pedro's back wow. to the table. And and, Pe and Pedro has to judge this this drop-in shot long, long, short, which requires you to have a perfect feel of how the table's grabbing. That's not something that, mm -hmm. that Pedro's been very sure about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's exactly what his, what, what is his major issue right now. Is that he has no confidence in his, in his in ball how control the, in how the table is reacting? Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, by he that. hasn't internalized how this table is reacting, but he has to play this drop in. He has no choice. That's the only shot available. Let's see if he can gauge. There's hook to the first from the first rail to the second rail is key. If you go too deep, you miss it long. If you go too shallow, go straight in that giant hole. That's right. So hard to to judge. But he needs to right now. He's 
really he's really checking it once, checking it twice, and checking it thrice. No, no. How did he wow. hit it? He hit it Perfect. too good. Too good. He hit it so good. And that's gonna build some confidence there. Yes, it is. Let's take a look at this at another He's angle. He's got a really, really good position now. Oh, yeah. No, he, now he, that, just that one shot can yes. really bring you back into the game. Clips the yellow. Dives perfectly into the corner. And reverse. Beautiful. He's shooting lefty. And he's going outside the ball. He's going four rails. Watch into this. a hole. Watch out. Oh, Easy he to slip exactly into this right. hole. He's Wait a got minute. it. He just died. catches it. Very nice. Very nice. I didn't think he was going to shorten up enough, but uh, apparently he did. Yep. He had enough right English. There you go. I almost for a moment I thought it was going to slip underneath it. But the yeah, reverse grabs it, on this round this time. Was a slide too. No slide there. Just grabbed. Just caught it. Nice shot. Excellent, excellent shot by Pedro. So he's going to stun into a short angle here. Not easy. He needs to jack up a little bit and hit it with a lot of speed. Uh oh. Oh, how uh -oh. nice was that? That was beautiful. Oh, oh we just, I just missed, missed the rail. Hooks. Sorry. I thought he was going to get that corner. He it just missed really it. really good to me. It was so close. Take a look at this. He hits it great. It the looks ball like jumped. It, it jumped. You know, it I jumped, think it yeah. jumped. That's he why. He lost the angle a little bit, yeah. The ball jumped but and I he lost the corner. I still thought he was going to catch the corner. He could have, if he hit the long rail, if he, he hit the short hit the rail, short he would have made it. the long rail first, yeah, he missed the short rail. Wow. Very, very, very close. And look what he left, Kang. Here it is. Oh, 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 Kang, no kiss time. Ooh. Kang was trying to pass the, the, the kiss by a millimeter. Was the position he leaves behind. Look at the position. He's got to be careful. He's got control right now. He doesn't want to lose it. Pedro's looking at the angles, trying to see if he can play five or six rails. He might, he might stretch this super long, mm. let the table go as long as possible to go short. Yeah, that is certainly hard. one of the better options. Yeah, if he tries to go short, he might introduce some kisses. He's going to power this and try to go He's got to make sure rails. that he hits through that ball to avoid kisses coming down the pike. Yep, that's exactly what he needs to do. No, just he passes just the kiss. It. And he got it long wow. enough, which is what he needed. That was beautiful. That was a beautiful was, hit. Certainly. Take a look at how close he passes this kiss by, though. It's More too close for comfort. <laughs> too close for comfort. Mr. Goodrock strikes again. Powers it. Now, where's the yellow ball? Look at this. He's looking at it. Just Ooh, passes it. He right. knew it, too. He kind of felt it. It's like, uh, hope I don't kiss. Yeah. He had a little body English there. Now Pedro makes that beautiful point. And now he's got a drop in. This is not easy. Mm -mm. No, it's not. This is more complicated. Speed uh, control. He's got to dive into that corner with just the right action. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like it. Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad and I'm, I'm not, sitting in the booth. Um, yeah. I feel like I'm going to miss it from the booth. Yeah, right. I'm glad I'm not at the table right now. I'm so confident in the booth. Yeah, you are. <laughs> and I'm not confident now, though. This is really feeling difficult. But if anybody can make it, he can. Sure. Oh, oh it's oh. close. Wait, oh, wait a minute. Wait, he's wait a minute. It's a roll. He's got That's amazing. Roll. He wow. actually made it. He got a lucky roll. He did. He was due for one, though. Yeah, he was owed a break. I mean, take a look at this. It's... <laughs> 
He's I'm thanking his lucky stars. One in a million. Yeah, right. That what, th what just happened there. Look at this. He strokes it. He just... He clearly was going to miss it. Just didn't slip. Then he gets a kiss. It reverses off the last rail. And it goes Come right back. into score. A very fortunate shot for Pedro. Wow. But he'll take it. And he gets rewarded with this position. It's a uh, an almost unmissable short angle. Yeah, it's a nice, nice leap, and he's got it. And the other thing is, he's just set himself up another natural. Oh yeah, now so it's time that he can he make can a comeback. Rolling. He can start rolling, and this might be this might be a change in the in the tone of the game. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it, all it takes is a lucky shot. That's true. That's absolutely right. The tide can turn so easily. The game is very fickle, folks. Mm -hmm. Billiards is so sensitive. Anything can happen. You never know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. That's what we love and hate about this game, though, right? Yeah. It keeps you coming back for more. That's what makes this game unpredictable. And, and interesting. And interesting, exactly. Yeah. I think the game can be just as interesting as a spectator sport, as a, as a participation Mm -hmm. He's going to play this four rails. Is it too short? It's too short. Oh. It's going to slide a little bit, but not it's enough. It's going to slide a little not bit, enough. but not as much as he needed it to. And, yep. and he knew it when he hit it. The he second he, he hit it, hit it yeah, you saw his it. face. He turned, oh, yeah. and he looked. And Kang here has a... He was frustrated. Kang here has a, uh, a four rail shot. But he needs to decide whether he's going to go four rails, short, long, short, long, mm -hmm. or five rails, short, long, short, long, short, because those are two different shots. Mm -hmm. And if the white ball goes back and forth, it could haunt him and interfere with the shot. I think that's what he's thinking about. I think he's going to play it five rails. Yes, yeah. he is. Oh, look at that. Oh, kiss, kiss the kiss is like completely oh, no, out. Totally. And Kang's the first to make 30 here. Yeah. And that's and that's a huge milestone right there. You're you're 3 quarters of the way done. Where Pedro's not quite too halfway there. He passes the kiss. Passes the kiss again. And finds the perfect line to score. Beautiful shot. Bang. He sees enough, just enough of this. Oh, he can cut the red ball. And mm. five rails. Yes, sir. How'd he hit it? Like he knew what he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, Kane. We know you know what you're doing. Hey, here's an interesting shot. Can he double the... No. That's a stupid shot. I was thinking of him Can squeezing into that oh space no, and doubling the short on. rail. No, no. That, that's one of the stupid ideas that no, I it's have. it's not that it's stupid, but it, it's a very, no, very it's a difficult shot. No, it's a stupid shot. idea. He's going to play the right <laughs> shot, which is to hit the right side of the white, stun the ball away from the red, mm -hmm. and come around to score. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Although, Kane could surprise you. He could try a drop in. He could try a drop in. Well, he's queuing low, see, so I think see, he's going to stop us. Yeah, okay. You were right, as usual. And 100%. Good call, Ira. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making good calls all week yes, from the booth. You are the booth expert. <laughs> yeah. But that was a great way to avoid the kiss. By the way, you and I are going to play a game before before you leave, okay? Oh, absolutely. You know how long it's been since we played each other? Probably 30 years. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's how old we are. Yeah. I look and forward to that. I still remember when we first met. We, you and your wife, Helen, came to Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and we played at the old corner pocket billiards. And I remember Manners. that. Wait, Blomdahl was there, right? Yes, yes, Blomdahl was there for that event. And Miguel Torres was there, too. A lot of, yeah. lot of other good notable people were there but I remember I met you there the first time and uh, and you and Helen were very gracious and I res responded in like kind and we had a really nice time 
played some good billiards that night. Thank you, thank you. Oh wow, look, he's playing this. Oh, you oh tried to we go tried to the pick white from underneath. The, yeah, underneath into the red. That's crazy. But I'll tell you why he did that. Because he's growing confident. No, no, no. Take a look at where the balls are. Oh, oh, I see. Good point, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. He was happy to kick underneath that yes. and leave him distance. Yes, because now he didn't leave anything. I mean, he way. could have just as easily played from the top. Yep. In fact, he, it may have been the better shot. But It might have been the better shot. But you know what? He felt it. And sometimes when you feel the shot, that's the right shot. Yeah. you yep. got to go for it. You yeah. can't, you can't that just. Sense. That's true. Pedro is looking at these from far away. It looks so hard. <laughs> to me, it looks hard. <laughs> to yeah. him, he's thinking about... Right, yeah, he's thinking about, obviously... He's thinking about long, long, short right now, and I think yeah. he'll probably play it and, and get control of the table again because he's going to leave Kang difficult, that's for sure. Look at this. Oh, how how nice beautiful did he hit that? That was beautiful. Yeah, that was beautiful. Wow, we have to take a look at that. This was with maximum English, long, short, and then you know reversing mm -hmm. back off the last rail. Look how beautiful he strikes this ball. Long, he catches the short exactly how he intended to, and he doubles the short rail. A beautiful, beautiful shot. Bang. Very, very nice. Very nicely executed. 32 to 20. Pedro's just halfway home. He's got an opening. He can go off the right side of the yellow, go all the way up the table, mm -hmm. and spin down for the red. I don't think there are any kisses. And I think he should be able to make this. I expect he's going to make this. Just Ooh, short. Oh my gosh. It. It's still haunting him. Exactly how that rail is going to respond. Right. And Kang has an opening here. Kang can play this thin off the red. He can also play this off the white. But I think he's going to just roll this quietly from the red. Taking a look at the angle, taking a look at the path, double checking his line. He hits it too thin. Mm hmm. He certainly did. He mishit it. He mishit it, but he's left no shot. He's left. No shot. Pedro's wondering why he has no shot. Take a look at this. He's stuck behind that ball in yeah, jail. Right. There's in no jail. angles. The only thing I see is a whole bunch of long rails zigzagging into nothing. I, yeah. I just don't see it. He's certainly crammed up over there. Well, He's jammed up. If anybody can find a solution, it's him. You know the only shot I really see here, Ira? I see him possibly going off the right side of that yellow and going long, 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 coming down like an accordion shot coming down. I see what you're saying. But that, that requires a lot of precision, a lot of precision, and that's not an easy shot. That might be what he's, th he's thinking. He's thinking something else, maybe off the right side of the yellow, and maybe going uh, long, long, short, and going to the I right. I am so curious to see what he's going to do. Some sort of very complicated ticky draw uh, that I've never yeah. seen before. Oh wow! I see what he's doing. He's gonna go ball. He's gonna go rail, long, long, short. Then reverse, long, and then spin long, into a natural. Short. There it is. That was beautiful. It was beautiful. And that was very instructive, because I didn't know what to do. I saw it. That's what all. I called. But I can tell you that it's not an easy shot at all. You have to be masterful to be able to get the right hit on there without fouling the ball, without fouling the ball because you're so close to it, and then getting that stroke through 
to get you that angle without a kiss. Wow, look at that. That that should give him the confidence he needs to 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 make that's a stage one, a comeback. That's going to be practicing out there, billiard fans. That's a great shot that you will see in the game. And it does require practice to get good at it. I tell you what, I'm going to practice that shot when I get home. I am. That was an incredible shot. I am too. He's going to stun this into four rails. I can certainly see that. Avoiding the kisses. Did yep. he hit it hard enough? I think so. He has no, a he lot doesn't of think so. speed. He doesn't think so. He might grab off this rail. Have, I, you know what? He might have too much, too much spin, Ooh, but not wow. enough speed. He lacked momentum. He had too much stun and not enough follow there. Yeah. Wow. That was... It was a very good try, though. It was a it good was try, a very, very good, good effort. Mm -hmm. And Kang doesn't have a great shot, but he can play a bank shot here. He could. He's taking a look at where, where his... Um, line off the third rail is where his ball contact off the third rail is I'm surprised he's not walking over to see where he needs to hit on that rail mm -hmm. maybe he just feels it he's just getting up there and this is a young man playing with a lot of confidence oh Look boy at this. Oh, oh my he dear it. he hit it perfectly he hit he it did. so full that he went through the ball. Yes, that's true. He hit, went through the ball. Yep. You got to call that a bad roll because, you know, he, he did everything right. I think, like you said before, though, he just hit too much ball. That's all. The angle was slightly shorter than he needed it to be. That's but you it. can do that a hundred times and yes. hit that ball and, 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 and not go and go through the ball like he did. Yeah. He, he, it was an excellent, excellent effort. Excellent effort, yeah. Absolutely. Pedro has another one of those reverse unnatural drop-ins that he's not been hitting. But he's good hitting. at these, though. He is good. He's normally he's very normally good at them. very good. He's, he's just not finding the characteristics of the table, like you said before. But uh, Pedro can surprise you and just all of a sudden just wake up and come right back at you. Oh, yeah. No, I've seen that a million times. But yeah. he's second-guessing himself. He just got up from the shot. I noticed. And that doesn't surprise me. Pedro. His body language right now is not, it's not good. No, you can tell he's, he's a man. He's sighing. He's he's a little frustrated. It's exactly right. He's struggling right now. He's struggling in his game. And this is not usual. The usual Pedro. On well, the last long, long rail shot, he, he judged perfectly. So that should give him a little bit of confidence here. It oh, slipped. He misjudged it too it much. It slipped. It slipped away from him. It's unbelievable. Let's take a look at the shot one more time. He tried to hit a little higher on the second rail, but it hooked forward and then he lost the shot. Mm -hmm. He threw his cue at the table almost. He was so surprised that reaction off the first rail, it just slipped. Yeah. And Kang, a stroke shot here. He's got to avoid a couple of kisses. Oh, oh. perfectly into the kiss. I was going to say, he had to avoid a cup that kiss. Take a look at this. He draws it, tries to slow his cue ball down. Just I must admit right that's happened that to me many a times, Ira. <laughs> Not just you, Henry. <laughs> yeah. Usually after I get that kiss, I say, just checking. Yeah, it's still right. there. Yeah, I knew it was there. Yeah, right. I just decided to try to see if it'll pass through this one time. <laughs> <laughs> it never does. No. Okay. No, it doesn't. Pedro has to jack up. He has to stun to the first rail without follow. If he can do that... Perfect execution. Beautiful. Mm. What a nice shot. That's the kind of shot you come to expect from Pedro, though. Not an easy shot, though. It's so easy to... Um, so easy to uh, have follow on that. And then just... You miss it by a mile and a half. But look at this. It judges the last rail perfectly. And maximum spin right into line to score. 
Yep. Nice shot. The Kang is so far ahead. Not insurmountable, though. Pedro can come back very strong from now. Have to be careful. Another reverse long, long shot. He's had to do a lot of these this, mm -hmm. this, this game. That time, looking nice. Mm -hmm. Perfect. It looks like Raymond Groot just defeated John Park. In the console, uh, consolation round. Yeah. Are they playing the 30 points over there? Yes. He scores 30 to 28. Raymond. Take a look at this. Perfect. Suddenly, yeah. Pedro is judging these reverse long, long shots much better. I He's think a lot of his confidence is coming back. It is. I, I feel. I feel it coming back strong. This is the change in the, the change of the tide of this game. The yeah. momentum's going back in Pedro's favor. Pedro has been fighting them, fighting this off though. This has been a mental, a mental battle. Yeah, but this is—he has so much experience, though. This is exactly what, what the experience. Uh oh, oh, he can be short here. Let's see, he can come in short. Oh, Ooh, he made it. He touched. He it. I was concerned he was going to be too short. If you notice, he's also controlling. Absolutely. A lot of spin on his shots. He likes to put a lot of spin on his shots. I, noticed. I do believe he will play this off the red. Look at that. Just catches the red. Mm -hmm. Wonderful shot. He has a chance to attack and defend at the same time here. High right, short, long, short. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. He can't it. believe he can't it. can't believe it. I can't believe it either. He cannot believe how he missed this. And he missed it wow. by a whisker. I mean, just by a hair. Mm -hmm. My wife's back in the audience again. She's sitting down next to the... Look how good he hits this. Yeah, I see that. It That's looks good even up till now. It looks good. The roll and the spin Take at the a last look. minute. Whew. Just breathes by it. Had too much. Kang has a chance, but it's not an easy one. He did control the game a little bit. I don't know how he's going to get out of this kiss. He's going to have to cut that white under the. Wow. He did very nice he did. controlling that hit. And I think he's going to get the backup he was think looking he's for. Rewarded. He I is going to get he rewarded. You're right, you're right. Beautiful okay. shot. He played that exactly the way he played that. He sliced the white away from the red. Yeah. Avoided that kiss. Yep. Played it short. Played it on the backup. Perfect speed. Yes, it is. Bang. And he nails a second shot. This is an opportunity for him to regain his lost momentum. He lost, he missed mm -hmm. several innings in a row. Yeah. And yeah, Pedro's been steadily coming back. He has. And that might give him a wake-up call to say, hey, you yeah. know what? Pedro's One not going to give up here. No. Pedro's going to play to the last, till the fat lady sings. And here's the drop in. Uh oh. Nope, no. Nope. Uh oh. Just nope. misses the long rail. Just hits a little too thin. Or it might look like he may have had a little bit of reverse here. 
me a little check side in um, that he didn't really need. Just misses the long rail. Otherwise, he could have made it. Mm -hmm. Not an easy shot, though. I know what he's looking at. Another long rail short. Mm -hmm. Low left. High speed. So hard, though. He's got to cut the yellow away from the red. He's got to draw it. He's got to gauge the English off the off the three rails. Reverse on the first. Running on the next two. Avoid a hole. Complicated. There's a lot of pitfalls in this shot. A lot of ways to incorrectly execute. But he hits that, he like, finds he hits that like he knew exactly what he was doing. Yeah, you know, he, he's one of the few players that does know exactly <laughs> what he's doing. <laughs> I'm looking at this shot and thinking, what could possibly go wrong? Oh, gosh. He's thinking, how am I going to get position and win this game? Right. Take a look at this. Perfect. Perfect action off the rail. He's starting to get success on these long, long shots. I mean, Kang's giving him these shots. Yeah, yeah. But if he keeps he knows making how them, to execute, he's gonna, Kang's going to start feeling that pressure himself. Oh yeah. And um, he's he's definitely closing the the gap. He's already feeling that pressure. He's Take a look. He's got the a, gap right. hit a tiny red ball here. A lot of English. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. He puts a tremendous amount of English. His cue ball goes slow. And this is how he magnifies the size of the red ball. Look how much spin that ball has. It's curving to this third rail. And then... And bam. There it is. Everything is bam. Right. Oh, look at this. Bank shot. He's actually going to play this a bank shot because everything looks kissy. All Two he's balls do is well. come into the red half a ball to the third to half a ball, and he'll score. And you know what? He's right on his tail. You know. Mm-hmm. Eight points in this in this level of play is nothing for Pedro. It's one inning. It's one inning. Mm-hmm. Let's see if he can make this bank shot. He looks to me like he's coming in short. But he just lightens it out. Look at that. And he actually was long. He was long. You see that? Wow. to come off the top of that red. Yes, he did. Just slices the other he side. Off the bottom of it. Mis misjudgment there. Mm -hmm. Kang is a chance. And it's a good one. Yeah, if he goes off the left side. He's got to feather that left side of the white to get right. into that corner. And make sure he doesn't put too much English or to shorten the angle too much. I like how he hit it. Oh, he did hit it great. He hit it beautifully. He hit it with hardly any English, which allowed it to lengthen out more. Now, here's the situation. He can play this off the left side of the red. Or he can cinch it by playing the right side of the white and playing it four rails, three or four rails. But if he wants to just roll the ball quietly off the red, he can play a short angle. But I think... He can stroke the ball confidently off the right side of the white and play four rails. Yeah, he certainly could. And he didn't even look at the right side of the red. I think he just wants to make sure he makes it stroke confidently. I think he wants to make sure he leaves safety for misses too. Well, maybe because of that angle. Oh, wow, he, he found the hole. Ouch. 
That was very close, though. Very, very close. Yeah, it was a good try. It was. The hole was small, so he may have taken a chance and there. And for what it's worth, the position is not that easy that he left behind. I mean, if you, yeah, Pedro may be able to feather the hit off the right left side of the red, but he took not that much kiss pretty well. Take a look at how unlucky this is. Just misses it. Good try, though. Pedro's looking at feathering the ball, but he's got to shoot opposite handed. He might even play this off the yellow. That is really, really strange if he does, but. I, well, I shouldn't say really strange. Do I do it. see what you mean by that, going off the right side of the yellow. It's by no means an intentional save. This is a very makeable shot for a yeah. player like him. Yeah, I guess you're right. And if he feathers it, he'll leave the yellow di with distance. He's playing inside. Take a look at this shot. Cushion, yellow, two, yeah, two rails. Yeah, he's going to go. He's going to go long, yellow, short, and then he's going to come all the way down. He doesn't like it. No, he actually changed his mind on that. Midway, mid stroke. He's going back to it again. He's going, I don't have any other options. Yeah, he's going to go. Make sure he's going to go foul the red ball there too. Off the corner, there. long ball, short long, and he's going to come down. Yep, exactly. Uh oh, uh oh, kissy, kissy. Yeah, he caught a little bit too much of the ball. This is an opportunity for Kang. Yes, it he is. He only needs five. He can put severe pressure. This if is he, it. If he, well, first of all, he's going to try to run this out, but if he even makes a few points, he's going to put severe pressure. King is in a great spot right now. He is. Yeah, but he can't take it for granted, though. He's talking about he's playing the 10 time U.S. national champion. Oh, absolutely. But I don't think he's even thinking about that. No, he's no, thinking about he's his He's thinking game. about just. What am position, I gonna make? How am I gonna control this? How is he game? gonna make the next point? He's the white ball's frozen to the rail. It's so sensitive. It's gonna oh, demand. It's not frozen though. Look Almost there, frozen. There's a little bit of space. Oh, but he did oh, kiss he, it like he, it was frozen. He though. hit it great. He hit it great, even though it's it was a little, a little short kiss. though. It's a yeah, little that bit little short. kiss is what took him offline. He didn't miss it by much, though. No, he did not. No. When the ball's frozen to the ball like that, look at how close he missed it by just a hair. What does Pedro have here? <laughs> not look much like. as usual. <laughs> he doesn't have a cross table. He, if he does, it's a it's really thin ball hit. Yeah. He does have a cross table, but I think it's, gonna, it's a difficult one, but not certainly something that Pedro can make. He's looking at clipping the red ball and going four rails. Mm. I think that's what he's looking at. I thought he was looking at a bank shot and hitting the uh, outside of the red, coming in. He'd have to lean over the table to make this, though. It's not that easy. He might play this off the... Oh, wow. What's he doing? Yeah. He's playing four rails. He's going to go four rails. He's going to go long, short, long. You mean short... Oh, you're showing him. Yeah, long, short. No, short. he went around. Look at that. Okay. Takes the kiss out. Oh, very nice. How Perfect. Nice that? Very, very nice. What a masterful shot. That's why he's at the table and we're over here in the booth. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Slices it. That. Finds the line. Look, he even good. avoids the red to the yellow. He's he looking was at it. the red to make sure the momentum of the red wasn't going to interfere what, with the white. With I'm the sure ball. he did exactly what that red he wanted to. Yes, that's exactly what he was looking at. He gets up on the shot. Is there a ticky here? I think there is. A ticky? No. I think there might be a ticky, but it's it's very easy oh. to go along just if he if he puts spin. Rail first, yellow, Could two rails dead in the corner, and hopefully he doesn't have too much English. 
And he rolls into that. Perfect. You made it. Yeah. There was even a little kiss in there, but I think he anticipated that. A little kiss will help you. Sometimes. If your name is Pedro. Yes. Perfect. He's growing in confidence. Yes, he is. You can tell he's taking a little more time with shots, too. Because he knows how important that these, this last 12 points can be. What does he have here? He can stun it to the long rail and try to play it flat. Oh, what's he doing? He's trying to play seven cushions. That red ball is going to bank up and down. It can get in his way. He's going to go around seven cushions. He managed that kiss perfectly. Is it short enough? It's good. Just base barely oh, missed it. I spoke too soon. Wow. Okay, Kang's got to do something here. He can't afford to miss another shot right now. Yeah, He's now is the time. He could slide thin up the rail and then play four or five rails. That's pretty much his only shot. Thin off the red, you said? Off thin off the white. Oh, off the white, okay. And then go all the way up the rail. Yeah, I see the shot, and I think that's what he's doing, too. He can go real as long as possible. You can't and go no more ball. He's playing. That's right. Oh, okay. This you is get good. Out of that kiss. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Very that's nice. 36. He's playing for four. Playing for four. Stays down on the shot. Beautiful. Hmm. There might be a four rail shot here from the white. He can also play this from the red and drop it in, but I think he, he likes to play this from the white. Mm. The left side of the white, short, long, short, long, red. Does he go Ooh, too long? He yeah. slips a little bit too long. And he loses control. Just slipped a little over. Pedro can hit thin and spin off the left side of the red. But it's yeah, very the problem, thin. The only problem is the thinner you hit that, the more kissy it becomes. You have to be very careful. Because it's going to come back off that long rail. Let's see how he hits it. Perfect. Just perfect. That was a great shot. He has a chance to play off the left side of the yellow and spin it into the corner too. 
got holes though. Mm -hmm. Plus. Yeah, that pretty much is only possible shot here. Oh, no, he's playing a short angle. He's stunning it. Yeah, that's a pretty long distance to be stunning it from. There he Maximum goes. Maximum spin. Oh, look at that, what a nice hit. Oh, beauty. beautiful. That was beautiful. Take a look at this shot. Masterfully, be, masterfully judged. Beautiful stroke. All oh, that English on the last rail makes it giant. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And Pedro crosses the 30 mark. Yeah. He's and right on his tail. He's in the danger zone. Kang has to close this out. Pedro might run another he 10. Can, he can run now. out. He yeah. can easily run out. Got a short angle here. Mm -hmm. He's thinking to feather this. He's a little concerned because that short angle requires a very thin you know hit. On he's the hitting yellow. it thin with a little bit of right English. Unless he, yeah. That means he's got a lot of confidence to get a thin hit here. He's putting right English here. almost seems like he could cinch this with no English, but he's putting right English. Is he playing five rails? He's putting like one o'clock. Yeah, I think. He, he's going to play five rails. He's playing five rails, that's right. Beautiful. And it's only a five point difference now. Oh no, he's he's looking to try to win this. He's looking to try to steal this back from Kang. Yeah. Look how good he hit that. Look how good he hit that. So nice. Is this a draw shot? This is almost like a trick shot. Hmm. I tell you what, he's looking at drawing this straight back off the red. Yeah, that's that's requires. I mean, a lot of stroke and a lot of precision. I think there's an, a shot in the artistic program like yes, this. Yes, I think you're right. <laughs> I've seen Miguel shoot this shot. He's gonna try to draw this straight that back. That red ball is gonna go up and down behind the uh, between the yellow and the corner. This would be incredible. He oh, makes no, he it. it what a stroke. Ooh, Gets out of the kiss. kiss. Wow. And he makes it. Wow. Unbelievable. Everybody can appreciate what a shot. the skill yes, of that shot. Yes, yes. The and crowd the, definitely rewarded him. He stays down on this stroke. Big stroke here. Ball jumps in the air and flies. Now the kiss that he's got to pass just. Unbelievable. The perfect amount of body English. <laughs> body English. <laughs> wow. Anybody would be. <laughs> yeah. So couple what's he blue, doing here? A couple blue virus expert commentary, folks. You're <laughs> getting a real treat here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he's going to do here. What is he doing here? It almost looks like there's some kind of solution with the rails first he here. Be doubling. He took a bit doubling the rail and coming straight back. He could hit two rails first and just clip the balls. The, the shot's almost mm -hmm. equivalent either way. But if he goes two rails on the behind the yellow, no, but he's not even thinking gonna of doing that. Rail, like he's going to double the rail. That's what he's doing. Yeah, it's an I extreme said. shot, and he's just going to catch dead corner. 
He doesn't get back to the rail. He didn't get back to the rail. Unbelievable. He, he, I think he kind of like, he hit too, he hit that ball too hard. It did not give the ball the chance to take the English to take and to grab the rail for the spin to take. Yeah, I think he had too much ball. Yeah. Yeah, he was trying to hit dead, dead corner. And maybe it was a little too fast. Didn't get the action. But he leaves Kang. A cushion first shot. You think Kang he's going to do a tiki here? Kang could play a flat tiki, but he can also hit uh, a rail red and two rails into the white. It really isn't a difficult shot. I see. I see a really nice tiki here. Yeah, he might be playing this as a tiki. Full in the. Oh. Oh, he didn't pre execute properly. No, that was. That was not what he wanted to happen. He tried to. He tried to hit full on the white and then get back to the rail to get two more. Yeah. Instead, he went directly. He hit thin. Yeah, he, he just hit that ball too. You think he hit it too thin? I thought he hit it too thick. But. I think it's the nerves, honestly. <laughs> Pedro's coming back. It's kind of shot that he can hit many times successfully, but right now, it's a different story. Pedro's got to drive this red away from the white yellow. Keeps getting up. What's he doing? What is he doing? Is he thinking of a short angle? No. <sighs> looks very dangerous for kisses. To me, it looks very kissy. He's going to shoot a pool shot here. He's going to put that red between the yellow and the long rail, in my opinion. I think he's, he's going to bank around. that red into the short rail. That's what oh, I let's think. See. Let's see what he does. Oh, uh, you were right. Said, yeah. You were right. Absolutely. The pool shot. And he got the Just point. Just clipped it. He's been rewarded. He hit it twice. Does he get two points? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he would like to get two points. He's smiling. <laughs> I wonder if you heard me. <laughs> Take a look at this. Drives that red right in that hole, just like you said. And he nicked it on the way in. He nicked it on the way in, although I think he would have made it on the back up anyway. Just touches it. Just Beautiful for safe shot. measure. That was a great, great execution. Let's see. He's thinking of going short, long, long. thinking that maybe no I honestly don't know what he's going to do yeah he's looking at playing short long long yeah I think he's going to go short long long it's going to be three or four rails it's the safest option it is he's only three points behind no he's going to miss that that looks good does it? Oh, look at that. He was walking away and he oh. came back to take a close look. <laughs> he went running. <laughs> he went running, that's right. Take a look at how close he misses this. Just slips a little too much on Watch that rail. jump in the screen. Right there. He runs oh. over to look. Oh, yeah. Now. Almost. Close, but no cigar. Sorry. Kang's thinking, I need to close this out. But how am I going to do that when I can't even see it this yeah, far? Right. The position that he's been looking at has not been this favorable for him. Wait a minute. He's going to draw this and double the short rail. No, he's not. Oh, look at that. That's what he's looking at. Oh, oh he just hits it a little that. too thin. 
That was crazy. Uh oh. Pedro could just nick this ball, wiggle it, and go around. But that's just me talking from the booth. No, hey, that's good. That's a good idea, and certainly probably something he's considering. Well, he's pointing at it. Mm hmm. Here he goes. Let's take a look at the line from here. He's fortunate that yellow ball's not frozen on the rail. He's taking a look at where he needs to hit the second rail. At least there's no hole behind the red. He just needs to thin this. Right. It's one of those shots where it's almost impossible to hit it too thin. With the right speed and the right, obviously, ball hit, he can definitely score this. Is it too long? He makes it. Beautiful. That is a beautiful shot. He's only it's two, a two points point away. Game. It's wow. a two-point game. It's getting exciting. Yes, it is. It's getting very exciting. He touches that ball perfectly. And now, keeps it away from the kiss. Scores. Now he smells the wind. Yep, he's like a shark smelling blood in the water. <laughs> Cross table, long, long, long. Mm, yeah, that's certainly a possibility. See what he's gonna. Let's see what he's gonna do. No, he's drawing it all the way to the lower right long rail. Watch this. Passes oh, the kisses. Look at that. Yep, now look at the kiss. English on the last rail. Beautiful. Such Just nice control. Perfect. Beautiful control. Yes, sir. He passes the kiss. Passes another kiss. And look how much English it takes on the last rail. Bing. Right into the point. And that brings him within one. Look at the control. would have been staring at a difficult shot. He can actually play off the left side of the yellow, mm -hmm. two rails, off of his left side of the yellow. He's taking a look. He's thinking maybe he can thin this red. What is he thinking? Wow. Well, He's thinking. I don't that. see him getting through that red without getting into a kiss. No, no. He's not serious about hitting this, is he? He's thinking of feathering this and then getting I mean, two at the rails. very least, I could see him hitting the left side of the red with. Uh, he keeps looking at it. With right hand English and trying to drop it in. The yellow, He's but. thinking of just breathing on this ball, hitting it super, super thin. Very offensive. Take a look at this. Short, long, long. Oh, wow. That's why we're not over there. Right, right. We're back. <laughs> wow. The shot. What a shot. And that ties it up. So what he, did, what he did was rail first and then red ball. No, 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 no. no. He Watch. hit red first. Oh, yeah, yeah, he, he clipped the right. red. You're right. He was able to get through short. Breathe on the ball, basically. 
and he found the line to score. And look, I think he opened up a position for himself. Nice. He has a chance to run this out. Yeah. He's on a run of three, and he's playing for four. Wow. This he's suddenly taken this is what tremendous this is control of the game. Yes, this is what makes these events so exciting. This is being played like a championship match. Absolutely. He makes this, he's going to have another easy shot. Um, there it is, too. He's got it. He's got it. He's looking at stunning off the red. And then playing five rail shot. That certainly seems like the most logical solution. It's not easy though, because he know another logical solution would be to draw off the left side of the red and come back around. For a short angle, yeah. yeah. Let's see what he does. Oh, you were right. Your position or, or your your solution was the one he chose. Is there a hole? Oh <gasps> my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's a hole. There's a back corner row. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, uh, King, King is revived. Look at King. He is revived. He's figuring this is his chance. And he's figuring one. this is a it's lot of a pressure. He feels like it's his last chance. I think he's I think he's ready to rise to the challenge, though. Okay, let's see. Is he ready? Let's see. Let's see. We're gonna find out right now. It's not an easy position. This is the moment of truth for King. In fact, this is a very very difficult position. There's no line here to score. It's there the isn't. George Theobald syzygy. All the planets are lined up and you can't <laughs> see anything. He wishes he can see the red ball. I have a couple more options. Try but saying that five times to get five times in a row. <laughs> <laughs> the CCG. <laughs> That's a real word, by the way. George Theobald coined it. That's funny. George Theobald. It's, coined it's, it. it means the line, celestial the alignment of celestial bodies. <laughs> in fact, George may look, rest look, in look peace. Look at this. Buddy. Yeah, yeah. We remember and love you. He's gonna drop drop this off from the right. No, <laughs> completely misses the long rail. Speaking and of remembering and loving, loses control again. Yeah. Pedro, we'll take a quick coming back to the table here. Memorialize and remember everyone that passed away on our on this date in 2001. 9-11 happened. Yeah, today is 9-11. Yes. We will never forget. Rest in peace, all of our souls that lost their lives. What, are we too, are we too loud? Okay. Pedro is looking at Stunning into a short angle. He can go off the left side or the red. I do think he's going to play a stun shot from the left side of the yellow to a short angle. It's not easy though. No, he's going to play five rails, thin on the right, left side of the red five rails. Beautiful. Beautiful <coughs> shot. Yes, it is. And Pedro is playing for two. He's got a fairly good position here. He's got a very good position. 
He's going to spin this off the right side of the yellow. stuns this to the right side of the yellow. The yellow bowl goes up and down, stays in the middle of the table. Mm -hmm. Beautifully executed. Beautiful. And look what he brings. More mastery. Yellow back into the middle of the table. Pedro is playing the match point right now. looking at playing this short angle from the left side of the red. Mm -hmm. He's got to be careful that he doesn't bank the red three rails into the into the yellow. And then also that he has the perfect action off the third rail. He could also opt to play at five rails. Yeah, I think I think you're I think you're right. He's going to go three rails off the left side of the red. Got to make sure that the red ball He's doesn't get in the way. English on there and hit a relatively thin hit. Thin this ball. is the match point. <coughs> Slice it. Oh wow, he drove it. He didn't. This is it. He's got it. He's got it. Just makes it. Wow. Beautiful wow. shot by Pedro to come back and beat Kang Lee. Oh, he was buried. Match. He was buried. Thirty-two twenty something and. And he what came comeback. right back. That was an incredible comeback. Incredible. Incredible. Unbelievable. Wow. Pedro showed his, uh, you know, his experience. True spirit. His 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 inner he, fighting spirit. He was struggling with the table for two thirds of the game. Yes. And he just really showed what he was made of. All of his experience came through. Totally agree. Pedro with you advances that. through. Kang played a wonderful tournament, so kudos to him. Yes, he, he, was, can, he, he was very impressive, he very beat, strong. He beat Hugo. That's he, a, that's a great accomplishment really, really for one gave of them. A great performance. And a, and a great, great performance here. He had yes. Pedro on the ropes. He did. And Pedro came back and really showed his experience. He showed his inner strength. Yeah, to that be was able a, to come out and win that match. A beautiful. A what beautiful a, match. What a, what a struggle Pedro went through there, though. Exciting. It was very exciting. It was an uphill climb for him. Yeah. I Excellent. mean, some great, great control the whole time. Kang yes. was controlling. At the end, Kang just missed a few shots and opportunities at the end, and Pedro just capitalized. That's it. That's exactly with, what uh, happens. You know, one, three, four. He was just last three innings. He made up the difference, and he, he prevailed. Yes. I thank excellent, you, excellent. Henry, for helping me with this match. I really enjoyed this. This was a very exciting match. It's, yes, it was. It's, it's, it's one it's, for the record books. It's one for the record books, and it's, you hope all the matches are this exciting. Yes. Kang put up a great fight. Pedro, yes, at the end, showed why he's the 10-time national champion. He's, he, he, he has his eyes on becoming the national champion again. He's in through the finals, and he will play Carlos... Mario Villegas in the final. Wow. Oh no no he no sorry Miguel Torres Miguel in the final in the final. Correct. Sorry guys. And this was the 2022 USPA National Champion, the second semifinal. Pedro Piedra Bueno defeats Kang Lee 40 to 36 in 33 innings. Uh, I'd like to thank our sponsors again, Car uh, Predator CRM, Caram Cues and Caram Shafts, Revo Caram Shafts. Uh, and, and, and all the wonderful uh, uh, Sangley line of cues, Karam cues, um, theory cues. Yes. Uh, always supporting American billiards all the way from Turkey. Yes, thank you, Mehmet. Thank you, Mehmet. Um, <coughs> that's Schuler by Mendoza. Um, Mendoza is a local cue maker, custom cue maker, and, and he. 
He sells the Schuler line of cues. Of cues. Thank you, Noel. Thank you. Um, Simonis, Iwan Simonis, uh, if Ivan Lee from Chicago, uh, donated the cloth and uh, uh, great equipment, 300 Rapide Prestige Blue uh, for the tournament, perfect conditions all the way around. Aramith Billiard Balls, Super Pro Cup Billiard Balls. Um, best cloth and best balls in the business. Yeah, that's right. Million dollar billiard products, a whole line of tips, balls, cues, cloth, uh, everything. You can name it. Uh, they make uh, economically priced Excellent and high quality. quality uh, economically priced is correct. Yes. Yeah, uh, uh, billiard equipment. Um, Mickey Campbell. Michael, Mickey Campbell, let's not forget. Uh, uh, Mickey needs money. Mickey needs money. That's his, that's his real company name, but he, he actually gives money too. We should say Mickey gives money because yes. Mickey has donated and supported this event not only by playing but also uh, with financial support. Yes, Thank you has. to Mickey. Yeah, he's been he a really great benefactor to the he game. He loves the game and, and we love him. Thank you, Mickey. He does a great job moving tables, by the way. He moved those Predator Carom tables from the Las Vegas uh, tournament into some beautiful yes. homes. Thank yes. you to Mickey. The person to use for that type of service. Thanks Absolutely. to Michael Kang also for his support from afar. He couldn't make it because of personal reasons, but we were thinking about him, and he's yes. always been a longtime supporter of the game. Thank you, Michael, and we wish you well. And thank you, Henry. Henry Gorchetta, the owner and proprietor of 5,000 Years Karen Billiards here in Morton Grove, Illinois, where we just where we're enjoying ourselves, and he's providing his uh, spacious and uh, a billiard room for for the national event this I'm, year. I'm very happy and grateful as well to you, Ira, for all that you do for billiards in America and everywhere uh, worldwide. Well, it's my privilege and honor. I, I, I thrive on the passion that everybody brings uh, to these events, and I really I love to share mm -hmm. that with and mag try to magnify that with everybody. Yes. Um, thanks to your wife also for... for, for for being such a gracious host. She's been cooking for the players. She's yes. been making sure the place is spotless clean and, yes. and comfortable for everybody. Yes. So thank you. Kim, Kimberly Baber Kimberly is my wife's name. Baber, she's, she's been she's, wonderful. I call her my secret weapon. <coughs> my secret weapon, but uh, she is obviously the, uh, the key in uh, the success of our organization here at 5,000 Years Karen Billiards. So. Thank you, thank you to Kimberly. Yes. Um, have we forgotten anybody? Everybody should join uh, uh, USBA. Go to USBA.net, look yes. at the tournament charts, look at the upcoming events, including the Dick Jaspers exhibition um, that's coming up in October, I think yes. you said? Yes, October 5th and 6th. Join um, the USBA as a member so you can find out how you can play in some regional and local and national events such as this and possibly qualified to play on the world stage. The Las yes. Vegas Predator CRM is sponsoring the Las Vegas UMB World Cup in Las Vegas in February. So yes. check the calendar for that. We'll be, you'll be able to see that in live broadcast as well. Three we're, Cushion Billiards. We're looking forward to that event. And Ira, to you and thank you to you and to uh, Predator Group for all the wonderful opportunities that you've given to Karam in helping us to uh, help grow the sport and to be able to have these uh, World Cups again in the U.S., which we've not had in yeah, we almost 20 had years. For 20 years, and then last year we had our first, but in a series, because for the next three years at least, we're going to have uh, events. We already have on the calendar in February 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027. Wow. Hopefully we'll keep doing this. That would be wonderful. But we need the support of everybody. So everybody join the USBA. Yes. And together we can really build three cushion and make billiards beautiful again. And we want to obviously also just talk, throw a, a plug in for uh, those people that are influential with the organization helping us. Charlie Brown has been helping us with all of the... Behind the uh, scenes. Behind the scenes with all the scoring and, and handling the, sh the, um, the emailing of the updated sheets that we're uh, able to provide here for our players. So yep. thank you, Charlie Brown, and for Andrew, all of your efforts. For being a great tournament director. Andrew Jankito. Roy Chung, he's been handling the data. Uh, yes. William Hanish, who's who's pro helped provide the... Uh, the technology and the scoring, the scoring yes. systems. Um, 
and uh, you sh everybody should go to spinhound.com where you can check out the live scores for all of these uh, um, matches and also to uh, sign up and, and, and get gain access to, to the important data, the detailed data uh, of, the, of the, uh, the impressive play that we've been seeing. Everything's being archived and cared for, spinhound.com. So thank you again. We're getting ready for the finals. Very good. I, I believe it's going to happen very soon. Yes, yes uh, Probably right away. Uh, we're running late because yes. of the storm. We started a little bit late today. But we're yes. going to now enjoy the final match to crown our 2022 USBA national champion. It's going to be either Pedro Piedrabuena or Miguel Torres. Yes, we're looking forward to that match. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Bye.